<clears throat> Hello, everybody. has been a minute I have had COVID still do but at least we're in here not sure how long the stream will be but at least we're gonna do something for a while All right, let's go clock in to be able to earn a little bit from news things. Ooh, that looks weird.
right, 404. It exists. Hey, Mr. Sloan. Happy Monday, Mr. Sloan. Really? What's that about? Uh, I don't know. Mr. Kelly, apologies, Mr. sir. Mr. Uh, why, why are you sirring me? Mr. Sloan me? Kelly, we're, sir. We're friends. We're literally uh, friends. Hey, dude. What's up? That's better. All right. <laughs> what's up, man? Oh, I just stopped and got some food. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's as far as I had planned. Um, What, what about oh. yourself? Uh, I just swung by town hall, but now All right. not doing nothing. All right. Well, I'll come join you there. Heck yeah. Let's roll. All right. All right, man. See you See you bit. Okay. Stream update for those who uh, are interested. Titus is a weird chicken. And we have started down an arc uh of helping him to come to realization that he is a weird chicken and the way that that has manifested so far is in doing a workup with dr blake who um did a uh basically a, a brain scan said he had an overactive hippocampus which is why he's probably having some blackouts um which is what they were trying to do was explain medically what the deal might be with um when he goes into wear chicken mode and then uh we found in his blood uh we we went back for results with uh jeffy and uh in the results we found um an in increased level of uh collagen levels that's only normal in like chickens <laughs> and so that was the first thing and then jeffy gave me a vial of blood uh which i was going to do further research on quote unquote do further research on and now we are to the point where we have to like start down this actual arc of what do we do to help Titus come to the realization that he's a were chicken. Uh, we met with Cass who said where chickens can be a thing, even though he has said that uh, that's weird's position is, is that they don't believe it's a thing, even though she flat out was like, oh yeah, there definitely can be a thing. Um, so we've started down this path of like enabling research for Titus uh, and seeing where we want to go with the where chicken arc. And basically, I'm going to DM some stuff, Dungeon Master software. Hi, man. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, not much. Just woke up. Yep. I like these signs that Bundy's got up. They're pretty slick. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. Yeah. Do civilians get to vote in the. Um. I don't think so. I've asked both Bundy and uh, um, Knight. Bundy seemed more sure it wasn't civilians. Knight hoped so, but I, I, I feel Bundy probably knows what's <laughs> up. So. Yeah, I, I obviously we saw um, the state website got updated with the mayoral and judge applications yesterday. Oh, um, did it? I didn't even notice. Okay, well, if you didn't know, uh, it did. Oh, appreciate that. Uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, and yeah, there's obviously nothing about chief police or anything like that. So uh, that that leads me to think that probably not. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if there's a part of this arc where Sloan becomes like related to the were chicken in like a unique way, uh, maybe like a nemesis. Um, Normally they make an announcement about this. Did they this time or did I miss it? No, they didn't. Oh, I'm gonna, trying to squeeze it in under the star. It's definitely weird. And the term is like an inordinately long amount of time. It's 11 days from today, 12 days from yesterday. That's a long period of time for the applications to be out.
Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well. Where'd you land? Uh, I don't know, but I might have to start uh, busting off my haiku skills. <laughs> I'm gonna make an application. I, I figured it in haiku. You think? Yeah. I don't. I don't remember. Other than the fact that it's three lines, like seven syllables. Then mm -hmm. I don't remember I what the second yeah, one and is. Then it, yeah, I can't remember either. All to it, but then it's like, and then it's also supposed to be like, you know, philosophical as well. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I didn't say I was good at them. I just said I have to dust off my haiku skills. I mean, that completely means learning them all over again, right? I put that in that same category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dust mm -hmm. off, learn from scratch. Absolutely. I, I, well, same I mean, categorization. It's, well, it's like been like 20 years, okay? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, Reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll have to actually make a decision though. I hate making decisions. Yep. Yeah. Still haven't seen anything from Grayson on our case, so I assume he's just, I don't know, giving it more time, I guess. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, give it all the time in the world, Mickey's not going to respond. Yeah, I know. I know. Would he have responded if, like, I had, like, tried to talk to him before we filed the case? Or was it always going to go like this? No, it was probably always going to go like this. Mickey doesn't All respond right. to anything that doesn't specifically benefit him. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. I don't know. Or his friends under threat of not benefiting right. his friends. All right, right, right. No, you know, I always look at everything. Like even if it's a no, we haven't been affected. We're actually I'm always, trying to I'm solve it. I'm always that person who looks at things as like a like from like a quality assurance, quality control standpoint, sort of thing. So like mm -hmm. even you know, how how do I improve my process, basically? Um, yeah. I like the use of the word like, infected. I certainly though. could could have called them up before and i could do that more in civil cases that i file i suppose but at the time it's like and yeah, is it necessary no but like if it would have helped see a resolution of this you know i would have done it i guess right but yeah part of me I wonders though like how much of that is your responsibility versus zero absolutely yeah. zero um it's, it's not my responsibility you've been summoned by the court the expectation is that you're gonna at least respond you know, yeah. You miss a court date, then you have criminal charges filed against you. Put they put a warrant out, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think that. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if if Judge Grayson would would go to failure to appear. Um, normally, that's for like a pre. Yeah, pre of course. Date, I think that's right? that's more on the criminal side. But I'm just saying, like that's you know one one route. I don't know what it looks like on the civil side. This is my. Uh, are you I a mean, senior fit. attorney or just regular? Yeah, yeah, fit senior. Yeah. You Failure are senior? to appear in court when summoned. Judge discretion on time and fine. So, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I never advertise myself as a senior attorney because I think it's kind of silly, somewhat. Like, I know why we have the differentiations, but I, I, I feel silly calling myself a senior attorney, so I never do. Well, I the reason I ask is because. Uh, if you don't run for judge, I would like to uh, maybe request, um, can I learn from you and possibly mm. pursue my bar license? Oh, certainly. Absolutely. I mean, uh, and I would even do, yeah, I mean, obviously there's only so much that I can help out with as a judge because you, sure. you need to go find another senior attorney. But yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, whatever you need. Hell yeah. Um, I, I don't know that like necessarily practicing probably to the same degree is something that I'm most interested in, but I do think I want to pursue it from just having the right amount of coverage legally in the city and make sure, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, all, all the spaces that I tend to operate in need to have a high level of legal wherewithal. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it, it would just benefit being able to a have that knowledge myself, but then also, you know, if I can share it with other people that, you know, need an attorney at some time, then, 
being able to be like, oh yeah, by the way, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Plus, like you had mentioned to me before, the whole like if you want to write a contract, that's mm -hmm. actually, you know, so I mean, Binding, there are right, benefits. Exactly. Certainly, exactly. Certainly there are. Yeah. And you don't have to, you know, go and defend people all the time and stuff. I mean, there's a lot right. of people that have their bar licenses that uh, don't do that, you know, uh, on the norm. So absolutely you know like like tim collins pop comes to mind i don't think i've ever seen that guy actually criminally defend anybody all right <clears throat> yeah well and and posey right posey florian is is bar certified odessa is oh, bar certified well. uh neither yeah. of them technically do that but they do write contracts they do operate in a more uh, all right legal wherewithal kind of space yeah exactly so well great mm-hmm mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. You're more than welcome to, to learn and shit. That was well put. Yeah, well, you wanted me to be less formal, so, you know, okay. <laughs> You're more than welcome to, like, you know, hang around or whatever it is that you want to do, you, <laughs> you idiot. Wow. Um, I don't know. They, I'm sure you've heard the people spiel about how the process works enough by now you're probably w well familiar with it i would assume uh, i mean all i really know is find somebody who's willing to take you under their wing and that's kind of all i've heard yeah i mean it's uh so it's a it's a um, a very ambiguous process there's no like you can't sit there and be like okay if you do you know here's three things and if you do these three things a varying amount of times you'll finally qualify to like no right. like, it doesn't work that way um it, it's a kind of a more of a finger in the air yeah he's ready for it sort of a sort of a thing gotcha. um yeah and it's just yeah work with work, work with lawyers um make sure yeah to, to make sure you have a good understanding of just how the laws applied in the city my understanding is the judges are taking a little bit of a uh um uh, they're a little bit more lenient right now in terms of let's just get people their bars and, and let them fuck up instead of being more worried if they're going to fuck up or not sort of thing. <laughs> okay. Um, that, that's the, what I've been told recently. Anyway. Um, so, so yeah, probably, probably wouldn't be too overly onerous. Fair um, but yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, nor, I, I don't really try to like uh, myself have my own like paralegals by any means or my own um whatever uh you know to try to tra train up on my own like i normally have like I i'll normally just like yeah i'll help anybody but I, like but uh i mean especially for like you know someone like yourself uh if i don't become a judge uh, i certainly would be more than happy to help you out there fantastic mm -hmm. mommy and you know i do stuff like, like so like example like sophia i know she she was talking to you she wanted mm -hmm. to uh uh you know see if she, if she could help on this case and like i even knew that you know she wasn't going to uh or that it probably wouldn't see the, the light of day but so like you know go, go make up some questions and draft mm -hmm. them up and we'll talk about them sort of thing so like you know if, even if there's no work to be done we can still kind of figure it out right right it makes sense So Nuke, I, I um hope you're still around. Uh changed the direction in which I wanted it to go from cockanthropy a little bit because I think that's too there's really two lores that exist in the city for were chickens. There's the actual were chickens, which uh go around like vomiting on people. And then there's there's Titus's version of a wear chicken. I hate how they somewhat called my bluff in terms of actually making these elections happen, and now I have to make a decision. Oh, I was unprepared. <laughs> I was unprepared, Sloan. You brought this on yourself. I totally did. I I was like, I'm just gonna meme the show of it, note it this time, right? And and now they're like, actually, now I now now my my chickens are coming home to roost, and and all the analogies. Oh, oh. They're all right. Oh. I'm assuming James. Jim? Yeah, that, that, I'm assuming that, James. That had to yeah. be Jim. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Okay. It's like is it either him or Tim, and Tim doesn't seem like the kind. Uh, he he uh, 
games is about the only one who would have been dressed like that who did who behaved that way that I'm aware of right now. So yeah. Uh, anyway, new, the like keeping the cockanthropy line available for the people that like wear chicken vomit, and then I want to pursue this like Titus has a unique wear chicken quality uh, that's unrelated to the wear chickens that otherwise exist in the city. Specific to like I, the way I worded it is as I called it like ornithropy. Um, so it's more aligned to like the Greek terminology of what would have been a bird or a chicken. Um, and, uh, so I provided a bunch of source material to, um, Cass to like kind of start the lore. Um, I expected him to kind of come up here though as well. Like what, what's he doing? I don't know. I'm going to go find him. No, let's see what he's up to. Big man, got important things already. Uh, but anyway, to answer that question, what else do you call it other than infected? Um, Anna's been trying to like press the concept of it being like a possession by like yeah. There's already the quite a few uh, mayor candidates or, in there. Look at or, that um, poultry geist versus like a actual infection. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a really interesting one because I think people have been so fed up with uh, how things have gone the last few months mm -hmm, that like mm -hmm. everybody and their brother is putting in their name. Right, right. It's going to be the most obscured election. I honestly, at this point, am completely uncertain about who might win. Yeah, and I think this one more than any, I think, will be determined by, like, which actual voting blocks have the most votes, I guess, right? Like, like... Uh, yeah, uh, like, trying to find people across uh, the the two when, like, Attendant is the big name in, in the AUEU storm and Osvaldo's kind of like one of the big names emma's one of the big names uh mm -hmm. in in this storm i mean if other people start showing up uh and they have more notoriety and and certainly isn't, seem like they're gonna do better isn't things Marlo running as well i think oh is, is he on there i haven't checked I, I i he's not on there but i was certain in the courtroom when he was an expungement so he could run for mayor so oh then then yeah uh, I would imagine so. Ayub obviously is a name that everyone's kind of familiar with now because of what he's done with Mickey. <laughs> Honestly, Nick, that's part of the reason that like I'm it, wanting okay. to pursue something other Actually, than uh, just politics right now. Not so long. I can't remember how many ones ago it was. There was a uh, Trish Bags rant. I was I was she would run again. Uh, the vending machine. The vending machine. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah. heard about Trish. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, big Trish over here. I actually helped the campaign the last time. Could you imagine if Kiwa won on Trish? <laughs> Uh, Nuke, I know OOC that Buddha's trying to get, um, expunged so he can run for mayor as well, which is going to make this election cycle even more there, convoluted. Hawkshin messaged me to be like, is there Did even any chance of winning? Around, it work? I don't know. And I could punch well, yeah, well, you were really busy today. Well, I'm so punched you, James. Gee. Here for my lord. Also, I'm here. I need to. I'm Titus. I mean, 
Maybe. Yeah, could be. I don't know. I. Who you suing? The politics stuff for me was like one route, but honestly, uh, I think like if I can become a lawyer and. Suing. Suing me? Yeah, you need to sue Titus Stringhammer. Titus. What are you punching me? Oh. Assault. Only if you sue Demi Black for me. Oh God, what? What did she take from you? You're. No, Dignity. she actually she was after my blood. Oddly enough, yesterday what? or the day before. Yeah, she, my blood. I don't know. She was she was going to seance with Doe, uh, let him know that his uh, his death had been. I don't know. He he had gotten retribution or some such thing. I think. Huh. Right. Yeah, I would seem it seems sketchy. Uh, it seems very sketchy to me. Anyway, no, she uh. I was getting the uh, the shit off of Reed. Um, I was in the in the jail, so her and Grayson were in the car, and they left me in the jail. Get walked out very slowly by the OC. Meanwhile, they went and vandalized my car in front of the prison. Um, they busted the tail light. It's lawyers suck ass so long. Uh, I have her admitting on tech she was there, and I have been admitting that. In it, suing her for dollars for a pair. You want? This? If you can, my feet. How about uh, we settle our disagreement in court, and uh, you know, call it pro bono. Right. Also, he is the chief education in the servers department. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. Why exactly your server is legal department? A comp as the chief of education. I mean, I mean, the police department. I, I, I mean, I guess it's a logical. Well, they would have a law department question mark. I don't know. Wait, Just what? What was the question, James? Like, why? Why do they have a law department, or why is a cop the head of the law department? The second part, because I, like now I can hopefully say every CPD can be ranked as corrupt. Uh, I think it's because it's my understanding from a conversation I had with her like four months ago that she has actively been working on like equipping the rest of the PD with like basic legal working knowledge so they stop screwing up as much. Yeah, she's their law trainer, basically. I mean, I was at one at the, uh, the training. D, so. But if it, uh, you know, internal thing on a server, it's uh, two different kind of. Anyways, whatever. Talk to D. Yeah, she, she was also, I, I also heard a conversation with her saying something basically along the lines of, um, she's gonna be ready to pick up the reins when Splainer inevitably stops waking up again. Yes. Yeah. So, like, two weeks. Uh, I, was, I haven't even really seen him, so I, I don't know. Has it already happened? I'm not really sure. I have him now on the docket. It's fucking funny. Oh, yeah? For the, the goof case. Yeah. By the way, I'm a little, um, I don't know. I, I was a little off. I uh, the other day didn't realize amazing move you had made. so once again done i didn't you... really realize what was happening yeah dude that but, was incredible uh, now looking back on uh and having an opportunity to understand what had occurred and what you um well done good i also did for a long time those fuck you did oh 100 you I, I can see either your action was the um mitis. let's put it boy also, I motion to compare everything regarding mm -hmm. the M. They don't mm -hmm. even have the chance to say, well, it was Hopsy. Whatever, that's not flying. She was granted. Oh. Uh, the judge, no. So I don't know. Well, um, it, it's the only way to win that case. Well, I mean, I, so I, I guess in, in my head, I'm sitting here, like, if they wanted to introduce evidence and conceal the identity of the witness like there is a prop for that but it's yes. just not what 
appeared. So why didn't they do that? Like, I, I well, don't get it. I don't know if you went to block it. Um, no, I, I didn't. posted my motion that I presented during the court case on the docket, mm -hmm. waited 20 hours and said, oh, how about you post what you said? Mm -hmm. And then Splainer entered and he uh, wait, said- Wait, Splainer they... entered then? Yes. Okay. So he's like, I'm going to need them to talk to uh, the people involved. And uh, what? Uh, we no. are- Yeah, it's so funny. And we're preparing the information uh, in a way that can be a public uh, docket. Discovery um, is over, is it? What the hell? You don't get more time. What is this? Yeah. Oh, uh, um, I did get that right away. Huh. But I mean, I, I guess I can look it up myself here. So, oh. Um, I also added something in the end uh, for a new legislation. I'm sure that that you can also um, feel that the need for this because if you if you're going with civil assets sure for something that happened six months ago in the sum nine hundred thirty one thousand and something um you know, it kind of the burden of proof needs to be in relation of a criminal case where they need to prove that it was illegally applied. I'm a, as on the docket, I posted my uh, uh, transcript of what Suarez said during the court case. Exactly, Whatever. which should be the record. Or... Yes. And what the judge asked us to do, and not have an attorney uh, enter. Yes. Bust it up. Yes. I, I also, don't... they already have three prosecutors, and Brittany was also talking, Yeah. even though she was part of the prosecution so they have technically five working on it so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well i uh and then you still never got a response you're still waiting a response on that senate thing aren't you yes but that probably will never happen of course of course even this is i have no idea why this went to court it is based on something that happened six months ago uh, and uh, Octo has not had a criminal record for those six months and has an expungement. So if he was on street racing uh, before the court came, before it was held, I understand uh, not all the evidence that they have. But I guess we're just here for the trial run, so I offered my idea for the legislation. So maybe uh, at least something can. I I, I don't I, I don't understand why all of a sudden Splain comes in on that one. Uh, like uh, it was clearly laid out. Uh, I thought cranes crane based thing. I have to look at all the text. You post your stuff, they post their riddle, and I'll think about even if this is going to move forward, right? Yes. I was um, thinking about motion to recuse, but I feel like uh, even Splainer won't be able to save this motion, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It actually helped me with thinking he had evidence after the fucking trial already started. Now, if it was under Brady, people like that, okay. Uh, but it's not just pure Brady. Brady, I, I could imagine we have more than just source on top of this. Oh. Because they probably talked that source and more information out what they based their investigation on. But the source is the one that can verify whatever those MRF informations are from. So. Exactly. And, and if they don't want to, again, there's a way to compel that witness to testify and confirm where that came from without them posing them. They just didn't do it. So, like, I don't understand that. that that's what surprises me. Yeah. I, I have information gonna... on this case that 
I, be quiet if they want to bring no. the person as a witness now. I was standing on the sea side. Yeah, exactly. While it was unfolding. Because exactly. I was standing right. next to Bunny. I think Crane a little bit. Uh, and uh, Hayes uh, is the defense lawyer for. Unfortunate um, with his wording. Beefy. When he said it's a mistrial and we're going to refile this, it's rescheduled and a refile. Because it was not dismissed. Mistrial is not a dismissal of prejudice. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought the wording was a little odd at the time as well. Uh, because to me, a mistrial is it's finished. You know, clear the docket, file right. it anew. But that was just me. I don't know. Yeah, that's that was my understanding as well. Obviously, not being a lawyer, but that I think threw me for the, a loop. Yeah, I think that's their um, understanding. I mean, I think something is just all in this city. Everything is going to be to the exact definite you're always expecting, I guess. And, Sometimes, you know, maybe word choice isn't all the best either, so. Um, but I mean, I, I think, I think, I don't know, has Crank reacted to anything since then? Or is he still reading and nope. stuff? All right. But it's all, um, I added another motion. The motion to dismiss with prejudice now. After, uh, uh, you know, them admitting mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. having that, that witness and not bring it up and to what uh splainer put that stuff on the dock like hey yeah we of course we made a mistake but we're gonna rectify this now there you go hey right you know what would be funny if that witness, they got that shit off the stand says i don't know what you're talking about this is a horse racing league could you imagine? Yeah, yeah, that would be... That would be interesting. I guess I'm still confused as to, like, technically the trial is underway, discovery is all done up to this point. Is the explainer technically even allowed to enter? Probably not. But again, this city is a little bit different. I don't really have an issue because for Suarez is really the first time that he's doing a case like this. So him can help is a problem for me. Sure. Oh, that's uh, well, yes, uh, but at the same time, look, you're bringing a, a precedent, a possible precedent setting right. case to the court, Santo, uh, something that has never been really attempted before. Uh, why are your eyes not dark and your T's crossed? I guess is yes. my question. Yes, I understand the people involved for as an angel, and they're they're. They, they they did a proper job on their investigation. Like I, I you know, they're cops that I expect when I when I under the cells, right? Um, so just a disc. I guess it's just a disc thing thing uh, up in court, which is kind of what he's maybe trying to plug in with our other conversation. I I don't know. Um. But what you do is you seal your witness, you have them testify in front of, you know, have to do a sealed deposition where they testify to, you know, in front of the, the, the lawyer, judge, and the other lawyer, and like, it, it, like there's a, it, it's done. And then everything yep. that James is doing to put up hurdles is gone. Like, it, it's, it's, it, it's easy. <laughs>
think that's part of why I'm so confused with what was happening the other day. Because wait, why why didn't they provide a witness for the evidence they're playing? Like it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I think the own reading that scenario how it works because if you have drug trap well you possession charges and you mm. build on it or you have your own testimony because you saw them cultivating and for mm. like that so how they actually need to do different kind of work for their evidence yeah this case is gonna be um, I, I'm I really hope that they did not have like huge irrigation um, or that there was a search and seizure that a, a judge signed for not a search and seizure a subpoena for the phone records or whatever uh, that a, a judge signed oh oof. Yeah, I'm definitely on being not court. Oh, 100%. Right. I sailed. The, the lot of trafficking that I had. Mm -hmm. Holy mm -hmm. shit. The cops got, oh, even if it is, they have to give culpatory evidence. They just have to, do that. like, so, or, or, or post the, or, or the warrants or whatever. Like, they just need to learn this. I, I don't know. I think I would have put up something is 99 percent redacted and the only phrase exactly. that you can it is relation to mrl oh mm -hmm, mm -hmm, everything mm -hmm. else redacted and then you have uh the the defensive asking for a not wanted version whatever and then you say well it's uh there's a reason why it's redacted blah 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 and then everything you said is going to come Hey, what's going on, Abe? I'm gonna ask one question while I proceed with this. Is a my that already taking your senses? I'm I'm sorry, you're you're cutting out a lot. One more time. Um, um, is a mayoral candidate already secured senses? Has the mayoral candidate has there been a mayoral candidate that's already secured what my services? So like uh, helping and you might be part of anyone's cabinet already or. Uh, unofficially, I've kind of been helping Osvaldo a little bit uh, on the side, but it's not been like an official stance. Okay, I'm just noting it down because I mean, I don't know what the fuck happened between you and Mickey, and I don't know what happened, but still helped do a lot of good work, yeah, with the administration, and even though other people don't appreciate it, I do. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm happy to tell you about it. I mean, it was it was an unfortunate series of events uh, that basically... Yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? Enlighten me. What happened? Yeah, uh, give me one second. Let me walk away from this conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so basically, um, it, the same day that I got offered a job by the FIB was the uh -huh. same day that uh, Cerberus and, and I were actually supposed to have a meeting to talk about some of the things that uh, Mickey had been 
basically laying down uh, things that he wanted done. Um, the acquisition of the tuner cars for the, the PD. We had tried to support it such that um, the company that at the time that existed, AIV, was, was going to basically manage a motor pool for them. Uh, and then uh, I, I had a consultant that I was working with do some kind of like sales numbers for us on what we assume it would be to acquire the number of cars that was being requested. I had a meeting with um, Brittany Angel and Kyle Pred to, to kind of discuss what their needs were. Um, and, and so I came back with a proposal to Mickey and it was astronomical. I mean, it was it was like 50 or 60 million dollars to do Fuck what it was. I, I know it was insane to do what it was that he had wanted to do. And so what I, I had sent to him needed further explanation. It was like, hey, this is what you asked. I don't think this is reasonable, but it didn't matter. What he saw was my company asking for an astronomical amount of money. And I think in his terms or the, the way it got worded in the meeting with Cerberus was that I was trying to take control. Um, that wasn't really what was going on. I was basically just kind of trying to do what everything he was asking us to do. And I think you, you and I had had the oh, conversation yeah. earlier about like having a financial person uh, be able to help take care of a bunch of stuff. That was also one of his requests. Um, but I think what Mickey says and what Mickey means are two different things. Uh, yeah, I've realized. Yeah, exactly. So so after that meeting, um, basically what, what came to the conclusion, I, I got a message uh, from, from Crane saying that the Senate didn't want to recognize part of my business uh, in the city uh, and that it was it was going to be best if, if um, we dissolved that business and resubmitted a new one under a new name with a slightly different scope. Uh, and so that's kind mm -hmm. of what we ended up doing at the Senate's request, right? Was like, all right, well, we'll just dissolve that. We'll focus on political kind of stuff. We'll um, do some of the medical technology stuff that we wanted to be working on. And, uh, and I'll do with the FIB what the FIB needs me to do. At the same time, Pred had stormed the FIB uh, and, and Bench Guy and Booba disappeared. I don't know if you knew this. They were gone for like... Oh, uh, oh so that's what actually happened. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Booba's back. He is back, yeah. Um, but the FIB is, is kind of like in this little bit of a holding pattern while new legislation is drafted by Crane and... Um, so we're, I mean, we're still operating. Uh, my capacity is an interesting one because all I do is research. Uh, I'm not like a, an agent. I don't have any law enforcement kind of capabilities. And so it's things that I could have done through my business and I'm still a little undecided on whether or not it even needs to happen in the first place. Uh, and and nonetheless, it was a very uncomfortable situation for me uh, and, and one that I thought was like probably best suited if I just resigned so that Mickey didn't have the trouble of feeling like he needed to play the cards between me and the political office and Cerberus, who really was uh -huh. at the same time, and I didn't know this at the time, trying to get CPD off the ground. And I think that was the yep. biggest threat. And now that I recognize that, now that I understand that's why the Senate had me pull back some of the things that we were working on, uh, I understand that that like I can absolutely see how everything went the way it did because it looked like I had information that I didn't have. And it looked like I was trying to do things that I wasn't trying to do. I was just trying to do my best to help Mickey. Um, but again, it was for the best that I take a step back and just let him do what he needed to do. Obviously he had all the legislation still drafted. He retained all of that. I sent him a non-disclosure saying that I wouldn't discuss any of this stuff unless it like absolutely was necessary, part of a legal investigation, which nothing has come up since then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and and so that's kind of been it. Uh, I've been helping people who've asked me for political help. I've drafted legislation publicly or, or privately for um, citizens who just think that that might help their interest. I helped Norman Adams draft some legislation uh, and work on some contracts and stuff. So I've been doing some political <laughs> consulting on the side, um, just nothing in direct line with the mayor's office. Uh, that was going to be my next question because it seems like <laughs> you don't really have a you're just doing consulting here and not interested in being like kind of best office again like you were with me. well i mean i would i would love to you know given given there is an opportunity to i i think what i wanted to do as a business though doesn't make sense for the same reasons that i think maybe you had yeah. concerns about which was like 
it's basically just the job of the deputy mayor, but paid paid more. Uh, and yeah, I, 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 you know, after having conversations with the DOJ and you and, and everyone else from that perspective, um, I tend to agree. It doesn't need to exist. Um, the deputy mm -hmm. mayors exist for a reason. So by dissolving that part of the business and only focusing on like very specific niche political things made more sense, you know, legislation drafting where it's needed, having some consultation stuff about how the mayor's office works, how construction works, being able to help people with like some of the business proposals, like some of those things that are more like, I don't know, just ad hoc services that made a lot more sense. Um, and I'm happy to do that, but at some point I still would love to work in a deputy mayoral kind of capacity, um, to have the experience to really know how the inside works versus what I had, which was, I don't know, just a hotbed of <laughs> information from all, a lot of different resources and, and yeah. no real ability to do anything. So how do you think I feel? <laughs> Yeah, well, and, that, and that's what sucks, man, because because like what I had hoped to be able to do for all of y'all is to continue to be able to help. But because yeah. everything got so sucky, it, it looked like everyone was just kind of pitting each other against one another. Well, me against everyone. And I just I honestly I, it sucked that that was even a thing. It wasn't something that I was interested in. I didn't I didn't want to be villainized. I didn't want anybody else to be villainized. I wanted to I just genuinely want to be able to help people. Yeah, he would have thought so. Little communication would have solved everything. <laughs> right, exactly. A single conversation probably could have solved everything. But you know, you were saying the room. Should you why end up to conclusions if someone talks? Right. Well, I mean, you you were standing yeah. in the room when when Mickey said he didn't read emails, right? Uh, yeah. So so like same same thing Hell, is true. I'm, doesn't read emails. But, but like the same thing is true, right? I, I had sent him emails about all of these things. And so he could have known if he had asked uh, or like chosen to read, he just didn't. And so bad communication being what it was, it looked very different than the reality of the situation. Mm. Which sucks, Hello. but here yeah. we are. I mean, it's two weeks and fucking gone. I'm done with this. I'll be asked to be in honestly, Rather with the deputy mayor the way that it is, unless the roles exceed heavily, I probably deputy mayor again. Really? I'm, I mean, it's just gonna go up to if the mayor, next mayor wants me as a deputy mayor because of some random shit. I'll literally say right now the way that it is, it, you're gonna let me have brain with rebuilding this mess and rebuild the deputy mayor position, or else I'm out. Yeah. You think I? Can, you think you care about? I don't care about power. I don't care about money. I help the city as a whole. Yeah. I'm about money. I'm fucking rich. I'm EMS. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm EMS. I can quit this shit. Fucking live. Yeah. Help people. Literally. I, I, I think that's the the unfortunate reality of of just kind of how this city operates in general, though, right? Is is like even the mayor's position has shifted so much, and and I've had conversations with all the previous mayors now, um, from what it was from Andy's original position as mayor through Mickey, it has evolved a lot. And now the deputies are kind of doing the mayor's job. Um, yeah. And, and that's, uh, and Bunny actually said it best. And I think this was a, a great, great way for her to put it is like, that's, that's put a lot of pressure on you guys that was never communicated effectively. Uh, oh yeah. Listen, for, like five months ago, it's not communicated what I'm, what right. I, was, I would not be envisioning what I'm doing now. Literally what oh, was agreed sure. upon is I already won budget. Mm -hmm. And and now and you're now managing I've, the office entirely. I do everyone I do every single set PD. Mm -hmm. because Alex does it. And if I do the my I'll probably cry and quit. I would have quit in the first term. And Parts and Red because she is Charlie's weird with me. She does <laughs> me for shit. Yeah, Char um, Charlie, please favorites that's for certain doesn't trust me for some unknown reason and probably her relationship to bunny and here's the thing i, had my I don't know it's a bunny I don't, I don't know i literally asked are there any problems between you and me oh every time i've ever asked for help she has to me every time she asks me hey what's the progress budget being paid i should get on her the same day or the day Literally, I've been like, over like, Bunny has. I've literally I've helped her and she's me. Like, it's 
Right. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck. Podcasts will hate for some unknown reason. <laughs> funny to why. Yeah. And Charlie hates me. And I don't know why. I've I been mean, the one person I had with was me making sure that, that the budget was on board and she died that. I'm like this hair requesting so funny and for some reason since then she has not gone to me with anything. I, I, I think it's probably a safe assumption if anything happens or exists, it's probably for the very same reasons of just poor communication. This whole city seems to thrive off of it. Yeah, I'm li- <laughs> literally so bad. Literally, if you, I, I, understand, I understand how some people may think of me as a cunt. Like literally today, the doctor. <laughs> literally today, the doctors hate me because I told one of their person vehicles that was parked on top of a ambulance valet spot that we couldn't grab out because their car was in the fucking way. Oh, interesting. And, and I've been punched in the face because of it. Uh, because, because I right. can't grab a to respond to an emergency call. That's nope. a, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I don't need a doctor's name because... Um... I mean, here's the thing. Um, them using... They hated me ever since I wanted to investigate why the fuck they were getting their budget to pay for bail. And since then, they've hated me. They've hated me for doing my job. And because of that, I don't care. Like, fuck. Yeah, I think I think having to keep some degree of... of and I think that's, a, that's also unfortunate for you, right? Being both in the deputy position and the MS position and handling the... Uh, parts of those budget areas like that's just an unfortunate kind of truth that is going to come with people feeling some type of way because they want to feel some type of way more than it does about yeah. the reality of that situation you don't like what's up man because i want to make that is above how dare you <laughs> so literally i mean here's the thing i help and i, I don't what i don't stand for is actually shit being abused yeah and because people don't like me, that's the case. Just, yeah. yeah, nothing you can do about that. Hell, even I've heard shit about mayoral candidates, people like kidding them. But I've like fucked. Shit is fucked at the moment. Yeah, I've I've noticed there's a lot of candidates already. Uh, but also, it's already been a month over the term for Mickey. Uh, and so we're we're closing out what I think today technically officially makes halfway through a third term. Uh, all of the stuff that's gone on, like I'm I'm very interested to see what happens with this whole political season, just because I really have no idea what's actually going to come of it. Oh, no, it's good. I like. It. Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a fun one I mean, to watch unfold, nonetheless. At the end of the day, if I it's because I won fairly. Yeah. If I don't win. It's because they, they chose to go a different... Do I agree with the route that they... Well, no, but if that's what they do, that's what they want to do. Once me as a deputy mayor, they gave me full reign to fucking rebuild shit show of mayor's office. No. Yeah, I part of me, like, I, I've gone back and forth on, on this. Obviously, if you don't win, you know, I, I think I'd like to see someone like Emma take back over because Emma has been through it and could okay, help yeah. rebuild. On, but... Yeah, that's the only exception. Emma's mayor, I'll happily... Right. Yeah, I think she will... Because, happily, yeah, because she, she wants to see the position um, kind of restored to what it should be after. And, and not that, like, Bunny, Bunny wasn't a bad mayor. I think Bunny was a good mayor. I think Bunny got dealt a bad hand when she was but, mayor. But that's a terrible hand. Yeah. So, like, to have a mayor... And, and not saying that Mickey necessarily was bad either, because Mickey was very good when he was present, but he's checked out, right? And whatever reason yeah. for the last few months that he's been in the space that he's been in has left a, just a really bad taste in people's mouth. And that sucks, because collectively, I feel like we all did a really good job early on when we were working together the way we were working together. Yeah, and especially the second term, it has been a disaster. <laughs> the first term was literally great. Yeah. And the second term is just when it all went to shit. Why do you think that is? Ah! Uh, chaos, miscommunication, P 
people want to do in full, like business proposals, literally. Honestly, business proposals are the worst shit in the world. <laughs> I literally, I want to want to go to this. If I be my, I would have sent it, and I would have fucking demanded the fronts get changed. The, this office needs to have more control over stock. We have absolutely zero control. Oh yeah, it's all it's on John it's, Miller and then Nancy. No, Eden not Ash. that. Not even. It's literally realtors, realtors who have yeah. histories who decide who who gets to operate the and who doesn't, and they're always gonna have their own gang. Right. Because like, look, look, let's not look. Eve may have a record. She's in a gang. Okay. Eve's in a gang. Yeah, she's part of the guild. I don't think I remember. Why do you think she's gang. look, look like out of gang? She's got all her separate connections. She's been promoting her. What's it called? All of her uh, shit in the Vinewood. Why do you think the Vinewood storefronts? Why do you think there's uh... so many storefronts in Little Because you have Ash Ketchup, who has Uwu, wants to pub for her Uwu shop. You don't understand. People do it for the good of them. No one does it for the good of the city. Everyone is rubbish. Interesting. And there's people who say they do good of the city. Absolute bullshit. Everyone does it to benefit. Please don't tell me what the... <laughs> of course, of course. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this is good. Well, I mean, I mean tr truthfully, right? So so the position that I originally moved to the city with was obviously I had an, a layer of loyalty to Mickey uh, and, until that whole server situation unfolded, in which case I just, again, thought it was best that, you know, he continue on whatever path he was on. Uh, but what I learned in, in the first few months of my being here was just what you said right is that there is favoritism there's like nepotism that exists in all of these areas you, you kind of rounded out one area for me which was the vinewood stuff i know nancy and her connection to cerberus that obviously makes a lot of sense i don't think i understood that eve was also connected Eve, you check the yellow pages she's a witch she literally has cerberus on there well, I mean, I, I know she is, but not not quite to the same degree. Like Nancy is is hill Cerberus, right? Like she'll she'll go tout that very openly on on Twitter. Every time I've had a conversation with Eve, she's been able to keep things a little separated. Hmm. I mean, people. How do I? People claim to be selfless, but everyone in this town ulterior motives. And yeah. I feel like I actually just want this to be a better place that previously was um i'm not asking for too much <laughs> like there's not a like the genuine bunny honestly was the last gen bunny emma were the bunny yeah it, abdul ignore mickey all the other ones were actually genuine and tried to improve that yeah i mean i happened that he found himself in beach he goes what a week before he ended yeah you know <laughs> Loki, that's Loki. <laughs> Loki, his face. He literally just a week before his term ends and he kept all the money that he used stole. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've had conversations with some of his um, former staff and all of them speak very highly of, like, how he ran his office. Uh, I think he... That, he did great. Know, the commissioner's office. The commissioner's office. Yes. Yeah. So, so the fact that he was impeached, I think... Uh, Put like a bad taint on on his whole term but the work that he was doing was was good work for a long time up until the point it turned sour i guess yeah i don't know i and i, mean, and that, I think mickey the... mickey's clearly done a lot that helped the city um think about like all of the stuff that like as much as and i understand the vinewood stuff helps cerberus because that's where Lang, a lot of lang's businesses are and eve's businesses are and like, I understand that, but if you think about, like, the what that accomplished in, like, keeping gang sprays and gang territories from being able to build up there and, like, keeping that in neutral zone, that's a good thing. Yes, it benefits one person, but it's generally a good thing. Being able yeah, to pay people less more. crime is... Yeah, uh, like, paying the musicians, paying people more for, you know, receipts and stuff once that goes through, and, I mean, like, all, all of the things... For the most part. Receipts. Oh, I eat them. <laughs> Are you getting a lot of questions I, about them now? I get emailed. Oh god. If I'm not around, it's for a reason. <laughs> Holy fuck! I'm like this. Hey, it happened when it happened. I mean, here's the thing. Every 
So the mouse office can literally press one button and fix it. No! Yeah. I think that's that's something that like the next administration I'd like to see happen is going back to doing town halls more regularly and even if not doing town halls like doing videos with LSBN so that you can put things on the news app so people can no, be no, up no, to date. No, 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 no. Town halls are like the best thing ever. Yeah. It. I. How do I? I mean, I like this. Yeah. yeah. People's lich invite chaos. Uh, it's fun. It is so. The only reason why I didn't the town hall, the town hall we did is because I did all of them. Yeah. I did all of them. I haven't slept. The only reason I'm venting right now is I haven't slept. <laughs> Just need a it, is the, it is the, um, the next day. I have not slept. Yeah, that's understandable, man. You, you, you yeah. need some rest. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have to as well. So that shit free me. I swear to God, I will free me in. Five people stayed up for to meet them. Jeez. You know, as far as like deputy mayors go, clearly you're the one who gives the most representation consistently. Uh, I mean, I really am around the most. I, can't, I have zero area motive. I'm literally one of you genuine people in this. I do not. What? Well, I, I don't care. Like, literally money i'm not gonna because i'm rich as it is and i don't want to spend my money already as it is right yeah um it's like what do you want me to do? if like if i give if i give it i'll i'll, I'll happily say i deserve this because i fucking put work in and i will put work in as yeah, I don't, I don't doubt it. I mean, obviously, you've been the one to put the money where the mouth is kind of thing, right? Obviously, being around and putting the work into getting things done. I, I think I think more than anything, just out of this next cycle, we, we need certainly consistency and presence and that stuff's all good. Almost like we need a breather. <laughs> this whole thing, I mean, his, having uh, a, a overly militarized police has been, it's been a lot to handle for a lot of people. That's the Senate in the Senate. I know, but like to have to have a mayor that's that's not necessarily I don't want to say like not supporting them because I don't think that that's the case either. I don't think that that's necessarily good. Um, but but like, you know, have you seen Brian Knight's um, campaign stuff for for the chief of police position? Brian Knight, I'm endorsing in to help me and I PD meets him. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, like his his concept is like bringing back IEA and making internal affairs actually hold people accountable again. Like that's the kind of stuff that like having a mayor that supports like good autonomy within the police rather than like the free, what do you like, go do whatever you want to do and blow people up. And I mean, I've heard stories about Mickey riding with various people. Um, not mm -hmm. that that I stuff mean, can't be fun. To go. What about what happened to Gunner? Uh, yeah, gonna well, part of it. You've been this. I am not a vote sign over there. <laughs> uh, got fired from PD, went to Gulag Gang, assisted in a boost where they shot at, got fired for real, and then got hired again at the cheapest for uh, two days later. Huh? Okay, interesting. Yeah, the troopers did that. I always thought troopers doing the prestige. Yeah, I I don't know what the deal with the troopers right now is because I think the realignment of the PD kind of placed troopers at a little more state level, where the UPD is operating. I don't want to say below them, but it almost seems like it. Seems like they're almost operating at a at a more city level. And so we almost have tiers of, of policing now. At least from what I understand from my conversations with, like, um, Copper. What's going on, Pete? Honestly. I mean, basically every yeah. organization inside the city needs a little bit of work. And, and just the way things have gone recently with legislation mostly just enabling rather than regulating has been a little difficult 
I think for a lot oh, of people. Oh, I mean, you see my jumping goals. I literally want to update all of the outdates on legislation. Oh, that'd be huge. Oh, glad I mean, I'm. That. I will update all the. Uh, you, you, I mean, have you heard the shit about pilot licenses, by the way? No, what's what's the pilot license? You, you can kill a helicopter, you can shoot a crime, shoot cops, like, like do find affinities from it. You want a pilot's license. Technically, there is no framework for you to look at pilot's license. Right? Huh. Well, that's one that definitely needs and it's to be like, revisited. And I'm like this. What? Like, how? Like. Yeah. I mean, I like. How? <laughs> Laziness. <laughs> that's. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's that's kind of like, it's great. We put a bunch of legislation in place. The question is, like, how long should legislation stay? Like the concept of like outside the city revisiting legislation redrafting making amendments that kind of stuff that really needs yeah. to probably happen here i don't know that it's ever been considered though mm, i mean here's the thing i'll literally want a sample of i mean mickey literally used the power of legislation to a term when no other man really did like the closest we had to another man doing legislation was by doing some oil legislation that went to a public for people that didn't actually even make it to a vote it was literally them going it was literally yeah it was meant to go to a public vote never did literally he just did hey actually just fucking do this and just go straight to the senate get it for the proof yeah well, that's a framework now and well the the easier framework the, after talking to crane uh who directly this is kind of from the mouth of the senate some of this stuff doesn't even need to be legislated the mayor can just do it uh things yeah, like I mean, the like it, basically anything that's state funded um could be state funded without needing prior approval um yeah it obviously if it looks too questionable it may be something that people want to investigate and that's that's why you like openly make record of it and talk about the programs that you're doing but like bunny's cap at a hundred thousand dollars wasn't necessary if people needed more to survive you can pay people more out of the state account to survive i mean there's hundreds of millions yeah. of dollars that can be put back into the economy as long as it's being put in the places where it's going to actually be used again versus stored up that's the like you know the i'll issue. give you an example you know the doj stuff mm -hmm. how the doj now have legislation for it yeah exactly mm -hmm. went to grayson afterwards she said we need more money <laughs> so guess what i just did it just paid them more <laughs> i just paid more yeah I mean, here's um, the thing. The, the the only advantage to keep everything slated is that the next can't say fuck you. Exactly. It continues from mayor to mayor. Uh, and yeah, and so... even some of that, you can programmatically probably just write down. It doesn't necessarily have to be like legislated, but it can be like a state program, a state sponsored pro program that like another mayor would have to like actually go and make a decree. Like if it's, if it's, and I think this is the thing, if it's public, and it's something that people have in the public. Um, it would have to be like mayorally decided. Oh no, this is a program we're not like, not going to support anymore. Versus something that's like, and you think about like the concept of executive power, right? The Senate is the executive power here. You can't go against the Senate. You can go against the mayor. Um, yeah. And so if the mayor is making decisions, and then the next next mayor decides not to do that stuff, that would make things a little spicy by its very nature. Literally, I want. What I wouldn't like, I wouldn't, you know, the artist, no, I get why we wanted in legislation, but no, deep down, I wanted inside, hey, let's just do this anyway, because yeah. I guarantee you, no man would dare, no man would never dare to say, you know what, nah, I'm gonna stop paying you guys money. Well, and, and it's great we got that, right? But but then we saw only the first version of trying to pay the, the digital artists, the visual artists. Like, there there are still so many other outlets that, that could be used that we could be paying other people to do their arts in the city rather than having to go grind Dodo or, or sanitation. Um, oh, shit, he's just running for Mary again. Who is? Jesus. I don't know who that is. Uh, some mirror part. Uh, he was really in the last one that he was stood in. Like, he did some really based states. I don't know what he said, but it was pretty based. Yeah, all right. He, 
Yeah, he's he speaks Portuguese, so like literally whenever we had debates, I had to have a Portuguese translator. Which was A funny, B sit to see. I mean, will he win? I don't know. Nah, there is like so many candidates. Wait, there yeah. are seven candidates right now. Yeah. Did you did you also notice that they left the window open for longer? It doesn't close until the 18th. Monday, Tuesday. Oh, God, that is long. Well, it's, day two is right. It's over two weeks. Oh, my God. I'm busy this week. You know, I'm actually annoyed because I'm, I'm busy this week. <laughs> yeah, literally every night I have to fly out to London to do exams. Oh, at least Lol. you get to do that in London. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hear yeah. London's nice. <laughs> London's oh no yeah, yeah. Nice. the part where I used to live was a hole. yeah where I used to live was a shit hole and then I decided to spend low and I don't oh. because now there's a fucking cost crisis and I actually can't afford to live low Bummer. I have to just to live yay cost of living yay, yay. oh yeah I also remember that one hey for the Mate, you're the first to Wait, one more time. If you're the first application it's on the ballot, remember? Oh, is that is that how it works? It's like in order of submission. It's for submission. Huh. Okay. Yep. So submit it first. All right. Yeah. I mean, I loaded everything ready. I just was <laughs> waiting. Yeah. Well, this is I'm probably about to launch uh, World War Three Doctors. Real. Real. I wish I you mean, best of luck. <laughs> I mean, if they really are going to get ready over illegally part and stopping us from that job. Like, fuck it. Look, literally that. All, all they had to do was that plus extreme terrorism, extreme violence, and that's terrorism, bro. True. Because you are actually violating my mentality. I cannot. There you go. Get get legally aggressive with them, babe. Nah, I feel like they're doing me for tone <laughs> and their tone, which I'm just a lot of court. No, oh, I want them to sue me. Please sue me. You know what? I love if they sue me. Yeah, that could be fun. I would please sue me. Oh yeah, so your stuff. Yeah, good luck with that. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. By the way, uh, Titus filed for a default judgment because Mickey hasn't responded. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Literally, I literally told him that was getting. He actually, no, I can't. Do that. Fuck. I mean, aside. Fuck. <clears throat> you see what I'm tired? I guess. <laughs> Good thing they doing the judgment because I don't think he was going to show up Well, I mean, the, the truth of it is, like, it, we're not really suing Mickey, right? We're suing the state for reimbursement on things that I spent out of pocket money on. Uh, the only additional funding in there is basically enough to cover Titus's expenses. And basically recouping for... my money. That's nothing else. Well, you include damages for legal incidents and insurance. You know that, right? Yeah, which is which is why like default default judgment could come back and say no, right? Uh, we're fully yeah. prepared for them to say no. Um, yeah, I, I mean, like I, I I don't care. I honestly don't care that much. This is this is more like I have people that I need to be able to pay from things that we were working on actively, uh, and to be able to recoup that cost so I can pay them is basically all I'm doing it for. Because I don't, I don't care. Like money, money for me in this city doesn't really matter. Um, I, I have enough to live off of. Uh, I have a job where I can make enough, and I, basically, someone paid me a hundred grand to do legislation, um, drafting for them. <coughs> Clearly, mm. there's a precedence for if people need it and they can afford it. I'm happy to draft. I'm happy to work with them on business proposals. They can pay me for that stuff too. I mean, there's plenty of things that I can work on if I needed money. Uh, 
So I don't, yeah. again, I don't so much care. It's it's more like I just need to pay the people that, <laughs> that need to get paid uh, from a few months I mean, ago. it goes back to my subject conversation. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Right, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and for what I want to, yeah, for what I want to do in the city, like having fast cars, all that kind of stuff. I, you know, I've got, I've got the vehicles that I need to get around and and do what I need to do to survive. Nothing else really matters at this point. Yeah, I mean, I buy a fifth S plus white game for mine. I'm gonna do it just. Like <laughs> I mean, if if I had an inordinate amount of money, I might, uh, I might spend it on a helicopter or something. But like, how much am I actually the heli- flying kind of around? Like. That just doesn't happen. I just I have a heli license. Unless I work for Dodo, I haven't done a, I haven't a Dodo pilot job for a while. And other time I fly for EMS. Yeah, that's I forgot about that. Yeah, you you fly EMS. I've met some. That's about it, really. I I mean, like I'm, if there was an opportunity for me to fly more, that would be great. But at this point, it's all like leisure. I mean, there's only some flying around the island that you can do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Great, yeah. you, you flew up north faster than you could drive up north. Now what? Now what? Congratulations. Right. Yeah, I'm, so uh, proud of I'm, you. I'm not a criminal, so it doesn't matter that I got there faster. I have run away from the existing cops chasing me. <laughs> I'm on email streets, by the way. I had a phone call, we've not had a single call. <laughs> we've, been, we've been talking for almost 40 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a good job because we haven't actually spoken to each other in a while. Yeah, that's true. Well, nice to see that you're doing great. Yeah, you do. I'm, you know, if the whole time I've been in this I'm actually thinking, fuck, stay on the mail. Or would anyone take me? Oh, would... yeah. That's a good question. I mean, if someone take me first, I'm doing a shit ton less hours. Yep, necessary. Put some boundaries up. I mean, the only reason why I did so many hours is because we literally had absentee man. I actually, actually had to do something. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably go back to like, I'll probably... I want to be the point where I'll be like a bunny bro, where I'm just, hey, please email me if you have any problems, because I can probably answer your question very easily. <laughs> what's what's that yeah. meme? It's like this, I sat there, like, congratulations, I sat there a meeting that could have been an email. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many of those nah, things happen in this I I don't care. It has to fuck us. <laughs> email me if I'm around. If, I, if I'm around, email me fuck you. <laughs> Literally, I, I deep down. I mean, deep down, I see this. I mean, what? I'm telling, I am I am here. Please. <laughs> like, have you taken time to even call me? Uh. Oh, well. Yeah, man. Did I give you my for me running for mayor? Did I, give uh, you that? I don't think so, but I can check it online. Uh, I mean, I have one that I just hand out to people. Oh, I gotcha. That is nicer looking than what is on yeah, the fair. website. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I mean, it's literally copy paste, but yeah, it's slightly more informative. Right. Plus, shit in city is better. True. True. Yeah. I mean, I lost 20 k when I could have just done as a Google Doc. I swore. It's better. But, but this is at? better. Uh, I'm at Town Hall, actually. One more way. I have nothing to do. All right, I mean, I'll see you in a bit, then. Oh, yeah, you seen Splainer? Uh, have you met Splainer yet? I have not met Splainer, no. Oh, you know what? You should be Splainer at some point. You're a good guy. You'll, you'll, get, you'll like him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's part of the separate... Claws. Um, claws. Yeah. Yeah, I've been hanging out with uh, Tim Collins a lot recently. That dude's hilarious. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I'll see you when you get here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, fuck. jump real quick. All right, in a bit. All right, man. Peace. Yo, was that uh Dean Watson and Lang and uh, mm-hmm. what did they come in for? Uh, they wanted to find out what the timing is of, uh, Lang's punishment because it sounds like Lang wants to run for mayor, too. What? Yep. What's the timing on Lang's expungement? 
Well, so so well they so it's gonna be next Monday, and then they were like, oh, well, the mayor applications that next Monday, and well, no, you can run if he's in the program, basically, right? So, but they were that's what they came in to ask about. So, yes, it sounds like Buddha wants to run mayor too. All right. Well, uh, Rip City. Hmm. Indeed. Uh, Abe's gonna be pissed when he finds out. <laughs> I mean, it's just gonna be. Well, I was gonna say Mick all over again, but at least uh, it seems like at least towards the end of the term here, he uh, passed the passed along his responsibility. But I think I think Lang will probably keep it going. I just keep keep the embezzlement going. You know. Keep the embezzlement going. Yeah. What's up, Chief? Titus Sloan, you know. Ah, I'm all right. You? Eh, not so bad. Damn, looking good. Mm. I mean, I really do. Look good, feel good, you know. Yeah. I like the fit. It's nice. Yeah, I just. I wish there was a brown belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brown belt. I I wish there was a nice fitted navy suit that matched perfectly well with these pants. And then a brown mm. belt. Literally, the suit I'm wearing, but in TV. Uh, your pants are not fitted, so no. Okay, fair enough. But the jacket is. I think well I think fitted. the the what yeah. you're wearing is what Tim is wearing. Hey, hey man. No, it's a different cut on the on the jacket. Is it? I think he has the knot lapel. I got the shawl lapel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Just wish this didn't have the uh. The thing faced in black on the lapel. Yeah, right. If it if it could just be all navy, with a notch lapel. Right, uh, right, right. He right. has a Titus has a peak lapel. Also. Right, 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 right. Hey, yours is yours is more like a like a formal. Uh, it's like a tuxedo, tuxedo suit. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. This, and this one's a little more uh, uh, fitted uh, in the chest. I think a, a bit more uh, than Tim's as well. Fit. Yeah, right. Oh, he does do it. That's pretty good. Good, so. Ayub. How are you? Hey, Titus, you want to tell Ayub what you just found out? Oh, do you want to do you want to know who your new competition is for mayor? Sorry? Oh my god, this radio is so fucking loud. Say that again. Uh, do you want to know who the competition for mayor is going to be for you? Oh, who? Well, I'll give you a, a hint. His last name begins with B and ends with an A. Oh, fuck off. Nope. Uh, huh? Uh, Lang's running for mayor. Yeah. God damn it. Or at least that's indicated to me like 10 minutes ago. Is he? Uh, he's in the experiment program. That's, that's kind of what he asking about finding out what his timing and if he could run while expunged while in the program the answer is yes yeah, i know yeah, that's, that's what, what that's what him. mickey did that, that was, was literally what the, like he came in here with dean and abdul and they that's the the entire <laughs> they visit and that's the information that they received from me so you know make that make that of which what you will i'll be right back all right where's tim going i don't think tim knew I don't think Tim knows a lot of what happens in Cerberus, as so, much as I love the guy. So here's here's my biggest question, is how much of a conflict of his interest is it to be engaged in the type of contract that Cerberus Industries Armory is engaged in? Insanely. Insanely. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also trying to be mayor, who, it, it, that would be two-thirds of the signatures run by mm -hmm. a direct so... Cerberus employee. He controls the state purse while also so he can state purse so he can decide how much the other PD units while also controlling the Cerberus purse it takes how much CPD get. Yes, so he could definitely CPD all the money and nothing to the others. That, that is something he could totally do. Uh. uh... Mm -hmm. Well. Wow. Oh, wow. 
My same stance. If you fucking let, if he lets you build the whole mayor's office while he's mayor, I'll be his deputy. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't put in his application yet, so I mean, they're still not for sure, I suppose. But I mean, it seemed pretty likely based on what what he said there. So. Oh, Michi recommends me to land. <laughs> Wee. Woo! From what I can gather, Mickey's not really a whole lot nowadays. Dibs on the phone. That's, uh, that's funny. Oh, well, it was a good campaign while I lost it. Yeah. Looking forward to this one. I was like, oh, any could win. Look how many people are running. <laughs> yeah, we, we were literally just talking about that. Ayub and I were on the phone, and it was like yeah. seven people in there. But literally, as soon as I walked out of here, Ayub, and, and we hung up, I was like, oh, is that leg? And then Titus was like, oh, yeah, he's trying to run from here. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, God. Yeah. Uh, uh, well,. I mean, again, he still may not. I mean, it is Lang after all. He, he isn't, I mean, well, he wanted me to close down server one day and then, well, I mean, I woke up from the ICU. But he didn't really ask me to continue doing that. So, I mean, I, oh, he, he might just be, it might just be a like flight of fancy, you know? Don't get too discouraged. He actually throws his name in the hat. I'm really just. Ah, uh, oh well. On to the next, huh? This selection was a big push. If I don't do it, I can't be out mm, I... You're probably... You're the only judge that the only one who's judge. I might not even... I mean, yeah, I'm He's still running for the bridge. Yeah. That's something I'm totally still doing. Real. Real. Real and true. Fake. I need food. Oh, I'm gonna grab some if you, I mean I can ha I can get some as well, but I assume you probably want to pick some. Nah, let's let's go grab some. Yeah. Alright. Uh you come over are you hanging out here or what's your plan? I'll have to do a MS one. About the same time as Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess. I guess I gotta do my job. Okay. Yeah. I'll just lay here. Sad. Depressed. EMS. No. This, this is a... Uh, Strange positioning there, Titus. Uh, Is my leg comfortable? Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, comfy. Sounds too. I'll find some food. Yeah. Alright, man. Let's roll. Right, yeah. We'll catch you later. It's in the Abe. No worries. In a bit. Uh, Also need some uh, like weed or something probably. Yeah, I was on the same. But I was actually gonna go get some. You were on the phone, and I was like, yeah, and he probably needs some too. I'll just wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. We could go gamble at the roosters. Apparently, there's gambling there now. Is there gambling there now? Oh jeez. That's word on the street. Oh yay! Uh, we can take your if you want. All right. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, Alright. Every fucking time I feel like an asshole. Really enthused. Mm -hmm. Uh, where do you want to go for food and or joints? Well, I already have food, so where do you want to go? Um, and I assume, I don't know, I tried calling Anna earlier, I don't know if, uh, 
Yeah, I, I think, think she's broken around. up since, but yeah, I don't. We didn't get a smoke on the water. They're close. Yeah, right. What other place can really uh, sells wheat? It does because the roosters been out of. Oh, roosters. Yeah, no support them. Yeah, so it's pretty much just smoke on the water for me. It's CG or Cerberus. So those are yeah. kind of two options. Uh, I, I don't have a distinct issue with CG, I suppose, so. <laughs> I'm not sure if CG Ocean dumped me. I have suspicious Cerberus may have. Mm. Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. What the? What in the busted ass car is this happening to these locals? And locals being locals. Locals this, be localing. This section is fucked in the first place. I mean, it's what, it five really cars? is. Yeah, it's, it's a five yeah. points. It yeah. I just call this the five points by uh, by uh, town hall. I wonder, like, does anyone own these businesses around here? Um. I think some of these buildings uh, were available, just but not too many. Um, I don't know if that has changed over time. Uh, uh, a lot of the businesses that were originally up for sale were locations that a that you could buy like before the collapse, and uh -huh. a lot of those businesses were centered around like. Um, uh, what's the, the square there? Legion in the square. Uh, they were around up by like um, like Vinewood up around Roosters and stuff. But uh, uh, but mostly by Legion Square. There was less kind of on uh, in the down part of the city here. Hmm. Don't know if that's changed, especially now. You know, people have their various store locations, so there might be a little bit more might be a little bit more access around here. But yeah. I think I'd like to get a, a location out this way. Well, I mean, here it's all fucking CG shit, obviously. Well, well right? not not right here, but like up at yeah. the five points. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's like one or two uh, buildings over there. I always was kind of jealous that the uh, was it the billboards got the Weasel Plaza. I always thought that was like a really nice. Video. Like we'll be using the express lane today, yeah? Ah, yes. And Greg. Maybe. Room. Room, room. Bitch. Hello, sir. Oh, that was a weird can... thing to answer the phone to. No, no. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry. Hey, can you meet me at the fun house? At the fun I have a house? meeting with a couple people. Yeah, the, the chat fun house. I have no idea what that is. It's like a grandma's house, you know, grandma's house. No, I don't know what that is. But what do you mean? I don't know where that is. I, I don't know where, who is grandma. Go towards, go towards, um, how, uh, Gigglebee, how do you explain where Grandma's house is? It's in Grape C. I know where Grandma's is, Sloan, I can take you there. All right, uh, my passenger can get me there. Okay, yeah, just meet me there. I have him with some people. I could use your... Okay, yeah, I'll head that way. I need to get some food real quick, but then I'll run up there. Uh, okay. All right, man, sounds good. See you in a sec. Bye, bye.
I marked it for you. It's a great seed. What was that? Ugh. Turning in this thing sucks these days. Ah, yes, I'm aware of this. I drive the worst vehicles in this. Well, this might be up there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Could also be that I just suck at driving. Mm. Six and a half dozen. Can't get up the curb. Uh, you want to go to a political meeting with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. As long as you always know if I get calls to do lawyer shit. Yeah, you got to do lawyer things. I get it. Yeah, I have to even get you to either drive me or your car. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Hey there. Yeah, we're going to get you. Hey, can I do uh, two Maldini's combos, please? Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good one, okay? Me too. Thank you. Titus, right, so you got a little more swagger than I do. Yeah. No, I've always felt I was pretty tough, so what can you say? Yeah, I'm a tough guy. Yeah, big tough guy over here. Yeah, tough man. Yeah. I'm a big deal. Jeez, we almost hit that lady. Yeah, Ayub called me and, and asked me um, if I was currently backing or working with anyone yet uh, politically. And, uh, and being the diplomat that I am, I said no. No, the truth of it is, is I'm backing Osvaldo. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you want to meet here? Yeah, Osvaldo wants me to come speak with some of the folks that he's getting ready to meet with. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, I feel Osvaldo and his who knows that I just come as a crowd of yes. <laughs> They've seen me around enough <laughs> to accept me. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, they they know we we hang, we roll together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tight like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then stop things. Did you say and stuff and things? Yes, yes I did. All right. Run that red light real casually. Gonna do this one mm -hmm. too. Oh, <laughs> roll through four way stop. I'm not even stopping here. Oh, gee. Oh, geez. You, you, double you, you, you heathen going one over and burning through stop signs. Well, I mean, you're going the speed limit, so I'm going one over. Yeah, I'm speeding. Titus. Plus, I'm you could just the cops. It was green for you and they let you die anyway. So who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does that does that work in the city much? No, no, no. But... I I said that before and it definitely didn't work. Yeah. I mean, if they can see the light, I mean, it, it might work if like they were from like another direction maybe, right? 
Yeah. Because sometimes, like, it always, like, it's the opposite lights aren't always green in the city, right? Like, they should be. Right, right, right. Well, this is a disappointment. This is the first time I've taken this car on the road since uh, since the change. Oh, yeah. Cap capping out at 88, 89, 90. Is this a what class is this? I think it was a, uh, a B class, but not anymore, it seems. Hmm. Well, I guess I, I guess my Camacho is upgraded. I think I, that thing, like, I was coming downhill into the city and it hit 120. Oh, now that I think about it. It's, it's about right. I don't know. So my Camacho is a B as well. Uh, gotcha. I mean, this, I mean, the way this thing's driving these days, it's probably more likely a C. Yeah. Which is fine. Whatever. It's I mean, not like it's I'm not going style though. Right? I mean, yeah, I guess it's, it's like the city version of a range. Isn't this more of a grand or oh no you're right yeah no you're right you're right you're right it's like a hybrid it's kind of between the two yeah yeah i can see it see that yep it's a drange <laughs> yeah we got up to 100. top speed 100 if you're on a straightaway yeah yeah Who is this Norman that I keep seeing on these signs? You got any idea? Uh, like, are they talking about Adams? Uh, uh, I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. Uh, I might be. I mean, he, he, I, I don't know if he like anyone really need to like is that billboards. That everyone kind of knows Norman's like kind of holy guy. I don't know. I, I yeah, I don't know who it's about. I mean, they'd be really aggressive if they're talking about just a lawyer. Yeah, it might be something else. I'm not sure. Well, that veered really quickly. Uh, go a little bit. Let me wait. Um, let me see here. It's not exactly this one, but it's around. Oh no, yeah, it's this. Oh, oh yeah, there. Oh yeah, there's people. Yeah, yeah. This is it. All right. Well, we'll just park here. What up? Jeez, what's up, man? This is swan dive off my gun. car. Yes. Here, come here. All right. Shoot the mouth. Shoot in the mouth? Yeah. Really? Yeah kidding you're shooting the what the mouth oh my Holy god shit hey, that's pretty sweet <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool uh, so good i feel All like right. we weren't supposed to uh, have our eyes open for that why not All right, so What's up, man? We got a meeting with, uh, you know, Pete. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know of Pete. Hey, Bitcoin Gamer, yeah, yeah. how's it going? Hey, oh, we have a well, meeting with, uh, We have a meeting with... He wants to talk about his side for... A, he doesn't like a specific law. Okay. So he wants a... He, wa he wants us to, to... I don't know, I guess he wants to take it out. I don't know exactly. He just wants to... Deal with side it. Is it a good thing I brought a lawyer with me then, huh? 
Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be judged, maybe. Soon ah, to be judged, see, see. perhaps. Maybe. A chewing hammer. Mm. But once in future, maybe. maybe. Titus right, so swing and baller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is Pete here? Right. right there. Oh, hey, Pete. Come on. Come on in, you guys. Okay, okay. You going, Phyllis? Ah, pretty good. What's happening? I'm doing pretty fucking sweet. All right. We my room. Which one's your room? Don't mind Leo there in the toilet, okay? He's, uh... Oh my god, what happened to Leo? Oh Where's Leo? He's, he's in the bathroom, he's screaming for help. Toilet. He needs grandma, but I, I think he needs to learn his lesson. Le wasn't it? Always gets me, uh, Don't touch shit. What shit? This is my room, don't touch my shit. There's nothing, There's nothing in here. That's my keg, and don't touch it. I won't touch it, I swear. I touched it. That's it, you lost my vote. Oh, shut oh, up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> OJ, All right. OJ. OJ, yeah, OJ. Yeah. All right, uh, please, so so what is it that you wanted? Uh, what's it again? The the, the law that you didn't like? Yeah. So legislation, uh, I think it's called gangs versus woods. I'm along that. Uh, essentially what it does is it makes all of uh, Vinewood graffiti proof. So no gangs Correct. or uh, anybody can move in there. Yep. Yeah, so I was hoping that, uh, you know, support that you would consider potentially repealing that as uh, me and you know my we live in vinewood and we like to you know live there for the long time just uh, two members of my family here that i belong with me so is it family or is it a gang i mean what a family if not a gang and what is a gang if a family no. well they're two very the different things are, are, yeah very different well, some people so might disagree. Are, are you got gang or are you guys family? I don't know. Lately, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> I mean, I would say say we do very gang like that as a family. Is that is that fair? I like weed. Hey, you can't you buy a house as a family anyway? Still up in yeah, but like the turf, if we're holding down, you know, we want to we want to keep holding the turf, and it's uh, pretty sure that it's right in the um, right in the protected the area. Zone. Yeah. Look at the edge, the skirts. Uh, see here. Yeah, you know what vault is? It's like it's like it's pretty much a the vault sort. Of, not too close, but like yeah, um, much of uh, Vinewood Boulevard here. Yeah. So, so is it like okay? But is it deep inside vault or like at the edge, like the skirt? Um. Well, what would you the vault? Because it's it's like north uh, vault. Uh, do you know like the area like what yeah so like the... so are you, are you talking about like clinton ave alta area yeah, it's, like, it's like clinton ave, i think like uh the towards the end of clinton avenue i across from that you know the globe oil gate uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it's like it's like pretty much right there. Is that, i mean I'm, I'm almost positive that's concerned what yeah yeah I, so that was a piece of legislation that I actually, I don't want to say had a hand in drafted. I literally drafted it uh, at the request of, of Mickey. Um, as far as repealing stuff goes, there, I don't want to say there's no precedence for it. Um, I will say this was one that specifically was Senate approved to match kind of what's happening in Legion Square. Uh, as far as like having local cleaners come by and, and wipe sprays. Um, I don't know what the determined area is. We kind of left that intentionally vague for the city and city planners to determine like what that range would be. Um, it just says Vinewood, right? It doesn't like specifically yeah. say like what areas. Uh, I would say as far as like what makes the most sense for any political person coming in, um, if that's something that, that can be done. Uh, it would be most likely working with the city planners to determine which areas constitute which part of the law. Uh, and then if there are areas that technically fall under the scope of that, um, like I, like for me, I'm, I'm going off of like what my personal gut feeling is, is Vinewood is Vinewood, like the street, 
not Vinewood as in the whole area of Vinewood. Um, Legion Square is a very small part of the city. All of Vinewood constitutes like an eighth of the city. Um, I don't know what that looks like yet. I don't know that any of us do. I don't know that any of the city planners have really determined that yet. Um, okay. Yeah, so, so all that to say, I, I think whatever mayor's coming in, and Osvaldo, if you support this, um, I know I would help you with it, is as the city planners are making those decisions, we could help them determine the locations and say like Vinewood constitutes the road. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, yeah, I was thinking, so I was asking like if it was in the outskirts or something, because then we can make like a line like, okay, like this, what the fuck is like the political quarter? <laughs> are you talking about redlining? Line? Yeah, kind of. Like if it's in the oh, outskirts, then okay, we could take it <laughs> off and put, what do you mean? No. Is that a bad? Redlining's pretty bad, yes. Don't worry about it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what's redlining? I, never mind. Never mind. Maybe, maybe mind. you find a more palatable word. I don't fucking know what it means. You're talking about zoning, not redlining. Zoning. Yes. Specifically zoning. talking about zoning. Zoning. I was... Yes. Yes. What I wanted to I, I think it's funny that both of us went there, though. Holy <laughs> shit. You know, I want to make sure, you know, this place that we're going home is, um, you know, is, is a home that we call for quite a while. You know, that's kind of my yeah. concern. Uh, mm -hmm. It's at the forefront of my mind at uh, this election. Yeah, it's pretty much Speaking clear. Of, I know. Speaking of things and stuff, isn't it in order to, like, do stuff, you need to, like, the gang out? Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, you know, I'm, I don't know how long that would take. I mean, it'd probably take a while, you know, for that thing to I just want to make sure that it does happen, that it everything's in order there's no more hurdle on the road uh okay i'm see an issue with the problem i'm pretty sure we could figure something out to to help out along those lines you know okay yeah i mean yeah that makes sense uh, you know i'm glad uh you know you hear uh what was your name again uh my name again? is sloan, sloan kelly yeah sloan okay gotcha well I, you know i'm here and you know you have some uh chat in this you know uh yeah, would it be in your show i mean that and honestly, it's a, it's a little bit of a weight off my back because this spot, you know, we really like it. We really reside here. It's, uh, it's very important to us, you know, making sure that, you know, everything good with the government as well. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a top priority for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, an issue is just uh, figuring out the, the small details once I become in office, you know? Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, that works for me. Yeah, and I, I think probably with most of this legislation, there there are vagaries. I don't know if that's the, an, a, a right term or even a term in the first place, but there are definitely things that are intentionally vague in some of the writing. So things like uh, when PD Toe and um, Dispatcher became government employees, there was like no amount that was ever to be determined or legislated what they would get paid. Reason being that should not be determined from a legislative standpoint that should be determined from a mayoral perspective who in office is running and and or is not just running but um actually determining what pay rates should be for government employees similarly <clears throat> with this one i would imagine that because there's no foundation for it yet exactly something like this would need to be a discussion probably above any of us individually uh, so if we can advocate for it as like a, um, an area in which it makes sense to kind of keep similar in size and scope to what's happening in, uh, Legion Square, then I mean, that's at least what I would want to advocate for some kind of protected area. Um, I think that like the, the citizens of the city, and I'm trying to understand it from basically all sides, the, the reason we wanted to draft something in the first place civilians in the city having a safe zone they can go to so that you don't get hassled when we walk into a gang territory um there have been instances where even just myself walking back from the vault got held up at gunpoint uh for being in quote territory um so like trying to keep like those specific areas the vault as a protected area or or um like just the common areas like those things are things that i, I want to continue to like at least personally, be an advocate for. Um, outside of that, I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, I, I can 100% get behind that. I get thousand percent. As a as a uh, self-proclaimed professional hostage, I can uh, <laughs> I can 100% agree with. It. 
Yeah, I want to be able to go to pick up a, a paycheck or, or turn in some receipts without, you know, getting robbed. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm 100% behind that. All right, I, uh, cool. you know, I appreciate your time here, and I appreciate you all uh, coming to this. I, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that, that cleared a lot up for me, so I am glad it. I could help. Yeah. Thank you. Well, well done, Damien. Thanks, Damien. How you doing, Leo? Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Uh, he's fine, but... Stupid Leo. Oh, <laughs> oh Leo. Anyways, well, uh, hopefully, uh, I got your guys' vote. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I wanted every reason in the world to support you as well, though, because I feel like, you know, we all, uh, we were all on the same path at least once, and I think we still are, you know, like, we're all trying to reach something, you know, like a grander scheme of things. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I want to support your path, and I hope that, you know, put me on mine. Yeah, of course, man. I've never had any of you, my friend. You've always been good to me. Hell yeah. See, 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 see. Hopefully, we all put it enough. Oh, how about Oh, Sloan, I just another idea for yeah. a campaign. Okay. I'm talking to real estate people, and they were complaining that uh, people could just buy houses without being a real estate agent. Oh. So they were kind of like an app. That way, uh, like sign into the app, and then uh, that way you, uh, you know, like filters get the calls because apparently filters don't really phone call. To, yeah, because uh, they're in the yellow pages, that's their fault. Mm. Well, okay, but they 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 think if they have their own uh, app, it would be better, kind of like isn't, Abdul's taxi. Isn't it also like not a huge benefit to even really go through a realtor? Like, what you get a little bit of your money back when you sell, I think, right? Isn't that like the only the only yeah. thing well you, you get 20 percent right 20 percent oh, you get oh is that okay that's actually not that bad then i guess 20 percent off like a, a yeah, really expensive fucking be... house is yeah <laughs> millions yeah. of dollars that's actually kind of yeah, a lot yeah. of money yeah. uh yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean yeah are, are realtors are there realtors that and this is a conversation that i don't know that i'm equipped to have at the moment but are realtors all technically under one scope of realty service or do they own their own businesses that I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I just spoke to I think they're all owned by Francis. Is it doesn't Francis uh, yeah, own it? Oh, yeah, small D real estate. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take your time. We're going to pop out of here. We'll let you yeah, have a private conversation. Thanks, yeah, Pete. yeah, yeah. Appreciate you have a good one, Pete. Hey, later, I'll be fellas. back in just a couple of minutes. Many red lining, mm, nice to meet you. <laughs> all right. Okay. All, all right. right. All good right. stage. Bye. I'll keep it under control. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got, you got roped into that one, man. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, uh, redlining. It was what happened when they rezoned certain areas of uh, underclass civilians oh. in, in the like oh. '60s to make it illegal to buy houses in certain areas and made segregation oh, a thing. Yeah, we don't talk about redlining. Oh. Yeah, I thought <laughs> redlining was zoning. No, 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 no. <laughs> Zon zoning is is well. I mean, it's kind of similar, but redlining specifically for the purposes of of. Um, keeping people out of areas. And that's kind of what this is, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, if they all technically work for, for small D, uh, then basically it could be a construction request that we could help advocate for. I don't know that it's something that like politically lines up, uh, but you could at least be an advocate for them uh, talking to about like how you could try and get an app with, I don't with have construction. Any good suggestions but i think that the realty market could just an overhaul if anyone had like that would probably be something we're you know maybe discussing if you had, i don't know yeah yeah i think that would be pretty good to discuss to overhaul the realty because honestly other than like there's a limited amount of properties that are owned by people now there's an idea you know uh, what what kind of political stance can you take on ensuring that uh foreclosures happen and and the housing market stays uh lively that's probably a good political stance and then what you yeah. could actually like work on inside would be like working with the realtors to ensure they've got what they need and advocating for construction yeah so pretty much like enforcing a uh, for yeah enforcing foreclosures uh allow more prop the you know available maybe even seeing if there was more properties that could be uh, available for purchase uh, yeah. working with the realtors to i don't know 
see if there's better ways for them to do their business. You, you might want to actually just sit down with them and have that discussion. I'm sure that yeah. gives some insight. Yeah, I don't. I, I would never want to like suppose to say that we we actually have all the solutions that they they would need. But like, I definitely am on board for advocating for the an, an improved realty system and like land ownership, property ownership in the city. I think that would be a good a good policy. There is a realtor in Hello Pages right now. Yeah, Rose, right? Uh, Nadon. I don't know if that's Rose or oh, not. Oh, I was I was talking to Rose. Too. Oh, okay. And I got all like, the ideas for it. Okay. Uh, by the way, Titus was uh this this will be information that's useful to you. Titus and I were at the courthouse uh, while I was on the phone. Titus uh, was questioned by Mr. Lang Buddha about his expungement process so he can run for mayor. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. Is he going to have enough? Uh, so as long as he applies, so he his expungement will be complete. Uh, next Monday and uh, applications are due. However, it's pretty established policy of the DOJ that they allow to run for mayor as long as they are in the expungement. Program. So he shouldn't, if he wants to, he should be okay to do so. No way I could fucking beat him. I don't actually know about that. I think I think you still have a pretty good shot. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'll tell you why. He is because owns the city. He does, but he also is currently at the center of a really major, like, major conflict with the fact that the Cerberus Police Department and the sponsorship that they currently have involve signatures between... Uh, not just this the head of cerberus but also the mayor's office and then the people in which are partaking of his service which means basically um if he took on that position he'd be in a very compromising position with his business he would either have to step out of cerberus uh or out of the mayorship he couldn't do both i mean he could totally just step out of the the, the Cerberus and then just have like a puppet as CEO. I mean, there's there's already Dean Watson in that position. The, the thing is, I still don't think that it would be legal for them to continue to operate and do business the way they were because showing that level of favoritism would, well, it would just be illegal. I mean, isn't he like leader of a gang? I don't think it matters. Well, I mean, he's I currently he's not doing any crime. I mean, if, if yeah. he did, it, it, it the question would be for how long, right? If if he did, the question would be for how long? Because I think there are already enough things in the works that would prevent him from long-term being successful. Um, there's enough working against him. Obviously, I'm still an idealist, and, and I, I want to see justice happen in this city, but... Um, I, I just think that the kind of controversy that that could be stirred up, like if, if if CPD hadn't just happened, I think maybe people would be more on his side, but a lot of people do not like what happened with the Cerberus Police Department. So I don't know that he'll get their votes. Okay. All right. This is gonna, it's gonna be rough. It will, it will be rough, but, but it's not, I'm not counting us out yet. I still think as far as people voting for someone they can trust and rely on and the names that are out there it's like you and emma are like the only two that i think are the most real credible threats mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to titus's point he still has to apply yeah but that just that's like two minutes you say it's two minutes i wrote your application i wrote mickey's application mickey got his in at like 4 a.m the night it was due even though i got it to him like a week in advance yeah, unless unless Maybe. Lang well, has I... somebody writing stuff for him too. Maybe. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah, I was trying to trying to reinvigorate the political stuff. We'll see. Uh, okay. 
It's it's not over. I, don't, I definitely don't think it's over yet. I think we're we're just beginning. Okay. And you got this, Chief. On the campaigning. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm thinking about doing a rally on Friday. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. A big rally. Maybe a few uh, singers there and stuff. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't could promote know. myself. Cheer up the crowd and shit. You know. I, I think yeah, that'd, that'd be, be dope. Okay. Do it. I support it. I'll be there. All right, perfect. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm speaking it still, but I'm going to try planning everything. All right. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, Mr. Slump. Yeah, man. Be good. See ya, Aldo. How do we get out of here? Either. Okay. I was just following I'll you. Oh, here, here. Having a mayoral meeting. Oh, okay. Sir. Nancy Drew. Hi. Nancy Drew, the dream maker. Hey, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. Nancy. figure out where he got the manufactured so that I could order some for a campaign I may or may not. That enjoy. timing sucks. Well, I mean, if doing it, you know, I was on a fact mission, <laughs> if I were to be actually, you know, doing it. Exactly. If I did it, if I was going to run, that's how I would run. I was just finding out the information. But it sounds like it was like uh, Bundy was uh, doing a pilot program, so I'm not even sure if they'd be available. Um, but yeah. Grandma's house. From a point of interest. All right. Yeah, we'll catch you next time. Bye. I physically. Oh, look, Leo's doing Leo's better now. Let's yeah, he's back on the scene. Sirens, but I don't see him. Uh, car just drove by, Damien. Uh, 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 Alright, fair enough. I'll wait. Just hit that fence, no big deal. a good first trip to the fun house yeah 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 the place is a shithole I, I just knew it was grandma's so i mean obviously neither did i i didn't i didn't know what either of them was where, where does grandma's come from uh -huh. i think it's just always been called I don't know, you know, just when but things are actually somebody's grandma's house because that place is a pigsty and she needs I to don't yeah, well, I don't disagree with you. It's just, you know, how things just called things and no one really knows why it was called that way, just that it is. Uh, like what? Do you have examples? Um. Other than I mean, grandmas? Well, I mean, they're, they're really local and isolated to, like, you know, like, like the vault. Like the vault. That's not what its name is. When you call it the vault, everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. Oh, see, that's yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I've always just called it the vault because right. that's what everyone else calls it. Or or um, the apartments. Mm -hmm. I know there's many sets of apartments in the city, but the apartments, you know, they're are really only talking about one of two locations. Really, I know there's three. They're really only talking about one of two. Cause who the fuck lives in the in the the middle one? Like nobody. Where are the middle ones? Uh, right across from Burger Shot. I know one person that lives in this. All right.
You either want more luxury in your apartment, you could give a fuck. There's really a lot of in between. Wind farm. Hey, any, uh, made any headway trying to figure that conundrum out? No, I don't know that there's any to be made. Yeah. The, like, idea of a tunnel underneath from, from the one spot to it really was like, I thought that was a stretch, but I was running with it. I mean, I guess it's not unreasonable, but that's a heck of construction for no one to notice. Yeah, it seemed much more reasonable that, that that would just be like a door they would use to bring in and out higher risk inmates or something. I don't know. Right. That that that's exactly what I was thinking. Or just like a like a loading dock area, right? Yeah. It, does, it exactly. doesn't even have to be that advanced. <laughs> it just it yeah. doesn't even to be high risk prisoners. It's just a place in which because you're opening the prison you can mm -hmm. securely take delivery play okay. yeah and like i know it's not functioning now but like you know they when they've had you know prison crews out doing the mining thing you know the amount of work release or where like they need to like you know, store vehicles or get equipment, that would probably sure be a convenient place to do that, right? Like, I mean, yeah, I don't sure. know. Uh, did I hear you on the phone with Dr. Cold Iron earlier? Yes. Uh, All good with, with him? Yeah. Uh, I should have um, turned on. Just, uh, 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 okay. Oh, here, here, let's if you, if someone uh, had their vehicle towed in the city, uh, legally, um, what sort of advice, like, what, like someone comes to you says, hey, look, this, we, I think the person towed my car, uh, an EMS at the, at the hospital towed my car, uh, can I go after them? What, what would you think would be the answer, I guess, just to test you on your law they, knowledge? They towed him illegally? Uh, I, it sounds like it was illegally. So I was actually present in that situation. Uh, oh, okay. So I have more yeah. information uh, as oh. a witness to what happened. Oh, uh, go talk to Dr. Jeffy about that if you feel so inclined. But anyway, we're quizzing you on law right now. Continue. Right. <laughs> uh, if if someone illegally towed your legally parked vehicle, mm -hmm. then. If you had evidence, I would assume that you could pursue civil charge to at least recuperate the cost. Yeah, exactly. Right. But um, you have to be able to like have evidence, right? Well, or or a lack of their evidence as well. Okay. Like depending on how they did. So like, it's typically expected in my experience that if someone is towing your vehicle for it being illegally parked, that it's documented. Right. 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 Uh, you know, the the person who made it, the person who's because you know, shit could happen uh, where things are knocked out locals. Maybe you like I've had my where it was knocked out of the way by locals. I went and parked again, and but some already parked it for tow, and so they came and towed it away. Right. Mm -hmm. So so uh, there's the expectations not properly codified anywhere. It's just sort of his best practices, right? Sure. Um, so if you, uh, if you, you want to someone sue them for, for illegal towing, it's sort of expected that if proper, towing, they should have documentation back up that it was proper. Right. Um, also for him, the evidence that should, that show it was properly parked, you know, as well. Now, the other thing with this is it was on property as opposed to public property, right? Now, I don't know if the EMS even has the authority to impound in that situation, right? Because it's on the hospital's property. The, the hospital would have to give them, would have to delegate the right for them to 
uh to do such thing right and i don't think i don't know or or if if they have that right uh but, but again it being private is another thing you know public is is doesn't matter if you're blocking block private's another uh, i don't know what the exact details are but that's what was calling me about was that situation do, do you want the exact details sure go for it uh we got a call while we were hanging out uh that uh trooper snow was um declared very sick and jeffy oh. was like the only doctor available uh one okay. sec we'll park this okay no. so we uh we're flying from our location to the hospital uh wherein jeffy parks illegally um right. between two motorcycles in the ambulance parking spot right uh and it's it's the it's the um ambulance valet it's where they right. have the ability to pull out their right you know, their yeah, yeah 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 uh and runs inside and and he's taking care of of the um patient right well uh not not just that vehicle but then also the two motorcycles were illegally parked <laughs> so so ayub was the ems who called um mm -hmm. to be able to retrieve the ambulance right so he can do his job right right and right. retrieve patients as the first line of medical provider yeah <laughs> sounds like they need to figure out an internal sh in my opinion but, yeah it was um, it's a little petty yeah now yeah. charlie was also there charlie was pissed she was like why didn't you come and get me i have the keys well, yeah. yeah. It, is it is it the EMS's responsibility to come find the owner in an mm -hmm. instance where a vehicle is illegally parked in in an emergency service lane, yeah. even though it's a doctor's and vehicle? It, it is it's clearly like, marked that, right? Like it, it is. It clearly is marked. Yes. Yeah. And and then also it's it's a doctor's vehicle, but it's a doctor's private vehicle, not a work vehicle. Mm -hmm. So it's not an emergency mm -hmm. services vehicle. Uh, in this instance. He's got now, nothing. there was an emergent situation occurring, but yes, exactly. Uh, you say there yeah, was like not said, an emergent situation or no, there no, was? Like, no, there was an emergent situation, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't know if that really excuse either, right? Well, now, the, the fact of the matter is there there is other additional parking areas nearby. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if that is the area in which vehicles are retrieved uh, by ems and another emergency situation comes up now you've got yep. stacked emergency situations because you've determined one to outweigh the risk of possible exactly. others like yep. a, a, in this case and he's got nothing <laughs> mm -hmm. he, he would lose that case at least yeah I, I think so as well but you know at this time it's all about it's argued in court and and how you know not always sometimes it feels oh geez. oh god i'm so sorry Sometimes it feels like you're just the wheel of the DOJ, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, let me, uh, you need a bandage? Oh, yeah, probably. Here, let's move those. There you go. Some rose oil for you. Ooh, rose oil. Rose oil. <laughs> Rusel. I didn't even need that whole time. I'm kind of surprised uh, Grace hasn't followed up on our docket post. I, I kind of expected him to. I guess he's maybe given Mickey more time. I don't know. It could just be that he's busy. I could be too. I mean, they are also claiming you know for one point million dollars awful lot of money for <laughs> right. default judgment Just right very quickly default yeah yeah you know, but, uh, red's another guy that i'd ask his opinion for towing stuff well if i was jack he's a in the sub sub yeah how's it going red well cg has their own impound line now oh what? oh lindsey court or some shit Okay, what what do they need a impound for? 
I don't know. Apparently, they're just impounding people's cars in the Jeep in the garage, and they're charging them money for it. I just came to see if it was an actual thing because they said they're spending it. Huh? Yeah, because if you showed up in the PD or in the MDW here, you guys have actually seen me phase them. All right. Well, what's the name? Of this it's supposed to be? It's Lindsay Court in. Uh, but I don't see anything in here for impound. I see for telling is Abdallah, mine, AAA, Blue, and the Union. And the Union doesn't exist no more. Sun Moon's the only one left in the Union. Uh, Lindsay Court or anything either. I don't see this either. I think they're just fucking scamming people at park and fucking yeah, illegally. I think, I think yeah. they're just scamming. That's what yeah. it sounds That's like. That's exactly what I can, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually did become state funded, though. If they do, that's then I won't be waking up no more. <laughs> I, I won't. I'm not even joking. I, I, I'm so fucking tired of towing shit and being treated like shit like I had for the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. State literally calling me a fucking hot. That is the PD tow. Fin they finally got their fucking pay after a year. And, uh, ma yeah, Inch made me wait three motherfucking orders just to blow me off for a thing. She said, you know what? I can't even do this. I'm fine. I'll take the job and be the head manager for the company. She tells me Friday at 2 p.m. Uh, I threw in one to let her, let her know that I'm there. I threw in one. An hour later, I threw in one. Three hours later, she already left. Oh, so, not, not even common courtesy to fucking text me or throw in one back to me that she can't do the meeting. She just blew me off. The next day, I woke up, check on some bills, and seen that the union wasn't on Surly. The wasn't on strike anymore because they got their back pay. Hmm. So that's all it took was dumb idiots and that, and then get the back pay. Yeah, no. Uh, as I'm concerned, the doesn't need to exist more, and the fact that this is for someone that doesn't fucking run it properly is bullshit. Right. She was given that fucking business back door fucking to the judge. I literally talked to uh, uh, Judge B, I want to say. He retired. Talk mm -hmm. to him. Everything I wanted to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll give a contract a thing to show. Gives everything on paper so we can operate. It's like, yeah, I just thought she will get her uh, union and all that. I can actually use it. Just have a list of people. Mm -hmm. Very next day, I wake up. Not the next day, literally the next Konami calls me and says, hey, they have their own towing company. And they're hiring. They, they just and they started hiring people. Everyone that works at PD Tow does not want to be a tow driver. They're there to become. They use to they use the PD as a way for cops to see them so they can order the PD. It is not proper. It, it, it's stupid. Why is the cop running the thing? Yeah. That's conflict of interest. The, the impound lot in the first place is a government entity. I don't it's, know about that. Yeah. It's literally the state. It's literally the state impound. Lot. I've been running there for a year and like yeah, I can't be trusted to run the thing that I've been regardless. Right. I'm the only fucking tow driver left in the city. It's just me. Like, well, I'll check right now. I'll check right now. Yeah, so, yeah. Malcolm no Nakoda for PD Tow. Yeah. Hey, that's it. None yep. of my employees can wake up. Evelyn Dance is still, can wake up, and she's a doctor now. So she's stuck in uh, hospital working yeah. down there. And people have been going down all day long and stealing fucking cars out of the hospital. <laughs> like, huh. when I say that, when I say this, owes me three hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's not just from fucking me getting fucked over health sales and my job and having money half my money tax taken away from me that's 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 not even including the amount of money i've spent getting people's cars illegally into uh, in, in my own pocket i i've paid it for probably two million dollars in money people's cars that were illegally impounded out of the in the last year and a half that's pretty nice of you holy yeah because if you show that actually nice to people, they treat you a little bit nicer, but, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I'm able to make fucking $100,000 a week to make car payments. No one ever calls me fucking toes. They call me if they're out of gas or if the car blew up and that's it. Or or if they even do that, they call me. And they're not supposed to. Cops even do it. They still self-impound the fucking vehicles on the scene. Mm -hmm. My company's made 60 or 7. As of right now, I've did I added everything up. My company in the last year and one month made seventy-five thousand dollars. 
that's all I've meant because no one tells me why why call me for a thousand dollar tow when they can go buy a repair kit for five hundred bucks. Right, right. And the state and the state refuses to work with me and all this shit. It's like I got a web system in place than what they have now. They just won't work with me. And right now I'm just trying to figure out what to do so I don't have to do towing anymore. Other than hunting 24-7, I, I can't do shit anymore. Right, right. Yeah, you can only... I, I, mean, I, yeah. I spent 12 hours yesterday hunting just to make fucking $100,000. Hunting and fish is all I did yesterday. I sat in Toledo and hunted all day long. Aw. That was actually a pretty good payday for... I don't know. I guess it was probably fucking boring as fuck, uh, though, right? It, so. it's, boring, it's boring as fuck, and you have to let half the fucking baits walk. There, out of 12 baits I had from a trip, I had three... Oh, it was just the uh, the illegal is that that sort it, of thing? it was all mountain lions oh, three three deer all mountain lions the next trip i got four pellets the rest of them were mountain lions and no shows and then the final trip was like spelt it may be four grand i could make that in a 12 hour shift towing by myself just picking cars up off the street like over over a 12 hour day mm -hmm. it's just it just sucks. Like I'm by myself all day long. Like people are like, oh yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go. And they're too busy. All of that to fucking supposed future handcuffs again. One of them at least. Wait, what's up? Wait, Buddha's getting oh, arrested. Uh, what's going on? Looks like, looks like Osvaldo arrested again. Huh. Osvaldo campaign is being ruled by PD outside Zinis. It's a giant shit show that's there, so. Mother. I thought about running for mayor, but there's absolutely no point, so. Right now, not really. Well, period, honestly. The fucking mayor don't get it. All Nikki did was cops fucking power they, they don't fucking need. He gave them money so they wouldn't ask questions of his other. He gave them fucking options. missiles and shit, too. Mm hmm. And now the fucking one of the apartments is completely owned by a fucking civilian corporation. So we got an actual fucking corporal PD. That I won't answer to. I've told them fucking bother pulling me over because I'll shoot you. I do not fucking work. I don't listen to paramil paramilitary groups. Listen to. CP is not a legal. Program. I don't give a shit. If it says they are or not. Not fucking legal. Is, is is any election right now? I remember trying to vote for judges. Some shit. Uh, not they're not up yet. Starting next Monday, I think. Oh, next Monday? Right. Yeah. At least the applications might be like another day or two after that, so you know how it is. Yeah. I thought about opening a fucking uh, PI thing. Working directly for the for you guys or something. Because that's what PIs do. Like a thing. Like, uh, that's something I'm always wondering. Why is the state marshal? The marshals do is for fucking warrants to uh, the police officer. They have them fill out and do bailiff work. They work directly for the courts. I mean, you could probably ask the, uh... Why? I, I, I know the... The officers are notoriously very greedy with what they allow people outside their jurisdiction to do. Um, and probably some of those duties are kind of what the DOC do sometimes. Like, doing court, you know, bailiff duties in, you know, some of those cases, but... Oh, yeah, DOC I mean, steps their bounds a lot of the time too. Exactly. I had one here. I had one do that out here in the impound lot, or not the impound lot, the uh, courtroom, literally right out here. Yeah. Uh, that day that the trip. well, it was the Alex Moans trial. Uh, I, I I was there. Moans got a ruffle off a cop in the courtroom, got Emma Gain out front, and he forced Jerry uh, as well to grab a car. Jerry went to jail for it, uh, and they was gonna force him into the car. I heard, I can't remember which cop it was, it was on scene. He or said, if he gets in that car, we will unload the car. Mm -hmm. They threatened to shoot the hostage. Yeah, and, I shot, I... and then one of the OC turned to me and says, scene, or we're going to arrest you, or I'll shoot you. I turned to him and said, yes, and I'm going into the room or into the courthouse. Into the courthouse. Leave the seat. I'm going to arrest you. I turn around. Do you tell me that one more time? You keep on following. I'm going to break your jaw. Fuck off. He once I was complaining, fuck off. Mm -hmm. so I was, 
that shit. Like I'm an, I'm an ex. I know exactly how you to treat people. They do it completely wrong all the time. Yeah, so well. you don't you don't just sit there and walk past someone, leave the scene, leave the scene. I'm gonna arrest you. Yeah, well you're trying to arrest, but I'm trying to leave the fucking scene. It's a DOC officer who cast you. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I flat out told him I'll knock you the fuck out. And the uh, cop that says shoot him says leave the scene. I'm literally walking the door, turn around, and said I'm walking into the fucking courthouse. You fucking threaten me one time. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? I said I'd love you, but and walk to the fucking courthouse. Murph was standing there. Said God, he's testy. Yeah, the motherfucker just the fucking like like making threats. You don't make threats to me. I don't take that shit. I got you. But it's like when you like civilly ask me to leave. If I'm leaving, don't keep following and make threats because I will come to fuck your shit up. Hell, I'm actually thinking about rescinding my fucking uh, neutrality on cop cars. Start towing cop cars again. I mean, if they're giving you the respect, I mean. Well, especially, especially came back in here after that. Uh, what was it? A couple of days later, there was another court case. They there was a big court case you guys had here with all the cars out front. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I came in here and did the uh, the, bench, the trial. bench trial. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The cop literally said he was going to write a fucking warrant for me. Yeah, you remember that you were flying. Yeah, I was he, here. He never, you were yeah, like, he never, yeah, and then I and I overheard him later on talking about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, never wrote that warrant. Oh, good. Because it was that. I mean, you know, cops be sometimes they just you know they're oh, am I might be but, how petty I want to be or whatever, right? Yeah, like, I love I that because he would have lost so fucking bad. That's something that pisses me off too. Oh, oh, we have the right to search your car legally parked. No, you fucking don't. You have no reasonable suspicion to fucking check somebody's car. It's been knocked out of a parking spot or for you have no legal right to go through that car. As soon as you impound the car and it's dropped at the impound lot, yes, I have the right to go through that car because I have to take inventory of cars that are impounded. But I don't because the cops have already done it. Their cops dropped it off. But it's against the law to actually go through somebody's fucking car. And I'm sick and tired of cops thinking they can do this. Mm. They're like, well, it's in our SOPs. I don't give a fuck if it's in your SOPs or not. Your SOPs are fucking law constantly. It was like oh, you have so no reasonable suspicion to do that shit unless that person is a known criminal and it's in there that they're a known criminal then you have a reasonable suspicion to check the vehicle sounds like someone's gonna have to challenge that though to uh code oh yeah no i i've yeah. told people guys hello hey, i've told people literally can start challenging the impounds especially with the pd toe shit because they don't pd toe they need to start uh that shit because she's making mm -hmm. a profit off that and she can't prove that she's yeah, because I yeah. can, because I have seats at the impound lot, pulling cars up for fifty, sixty thousand dollars, money goes straight to the state budget. She's making a profit off of it. Huh. And it's a massive conflict of interest because she's impounding people's cops after arresting them. That's a massive conflict of interest. That entire and not not only that, when they did the uh, system work, they broke it into two different sides, so that uh, PD Toe gets federal sh or the uh, the felony shit. And I get the lower level shit. It used to be, it used to be tow drivers got, and because oh, really? of that, it, yeah, it used to be, I, cause it's hard to remember everything I get. I get parking violations, I get of a crime. I get, uh, any otherwise not stated. Um, there's a couple other things that are in there. I don't remember what they are, but it's hmm. like, there's, there's things like that, that, uh, because they're not felonies, I get those calls. But if there's no PD tow on duty, I get all of the calls. Right. If I'm not signed in, PD tow gets all of my call. They ignore my calls and if they cancel those calls. It's the entire system for me when I actually get on duty. I'm not even joking. I spent the last hour and a half. I had to manually load cars myself to get paid because I had like 50 cars in a row that are all just at this location. Like they're broken GPS track. As soon as they cancel the job, the car gets uh, grabbed by the locals. And you got cops driving down there, throwing the cars in themselves, calling nobody. It, the entire system is just fucked. And it's like, yeah, I can fix the entire system in like literally one. I've worked on it. I've fixed the entire system. I don't even need to use this shit. They just park the cars. Stop it. That's it. Have to worry about pay, charge them a thousand per car. We're done. It's literally that simple. No one right. wants to listen, so. Oh, I'm trying. I gotta get this Camaro paid, and then I might try and make a million dollar loan, and then have the money to fucking Gladys and the other half carry or someone and make invest in their business. 
try and get some passive income or some shit going. Mm -hmm. I don't really try and get my impound that actually fucking built Sandy Shores of Polito again. Or at least some a drop off location there so I could actually have employees work up their cars off. Because Polito and Polito and Harmony have both been begging me to get my fucking stuff up there because they work. They mm -hmm. don't want to drive down here to work. They have a lot of cars up there, they can't impound them. Right. So drive down here, sign on duty, drive back up, get and drive back down here, impound it, and I'll a year ago for construction. Never heard a fucking thing since. Sounds that's most people's experience with construction. Seems like that's very. Oh, yeah, uh, I can't yeah. even get a hold of. I can't even get a hold of construction. I even told them, hey, just use the blueprints from the town lot. Just use those blueprints over again. Just mm -hmm. that, just just reuse those blueprints. I don't need a very big building. I just need a drop location. They, they mm -hmm. can literally use the police departments up there. They can actually use the fucking stuff garages up there to actually have the drop off for tow drivers. And they just don't do it. Ugh, I don't want to go get this call. All right, well, I'll let you make it. I'll let you make your call, but uh, it's good oh, to yeah. see you again, Red. Yeah, this was probably a scuff call. I haven't checked it yet. That's 100% a scuff call. Yeah, I'm going to go that? down to probably check on the shit show down there. I'm so tired of the bit. Yeah, I get it, man. I, I was about... 75% done with it the day it was in here and offered to take over to the tow. And Emma literally looked, said the Senate told her to tell me that I am nothing more than a local. Down with the Senate. Like, that shit's just soul crushing. Like, it's like, wow, you just see me as nothing but a fucking local. Not even a civilian, just a local. Yeah, right here. You he just twatted it. CG autos. 5k for any car. They're sniping cars and reselling those cars. Thanks, Riles. Anybody Appreciate that parked their souls getting their shit towed. And then they're trying to resell it. Is that what that looks like? Yeah, they're reselling. Yeah. Reselling illegal cars. Yeah, stolen cars reselling them. Yeah. Good thing I didn't park, keep the Camaro parked down there while I was getting shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah, because I'd be dead right now because I'd have started getting down everybody in fucking sight until I got my shit back. Oh, well, <clears throat> uh, I have a chat here. All right. Red, it's good seeing you, man. Because you got, your ass has gotten fat. Yeah, he's, he's a big fella these days. So is fucking, uh, Spider-Man right now. Yeah, that's Spider-Man, so I'm with you. Later, guys. See you, Red. I love Red, but that guy can keep talking, hey? Yeah, I'll talk up a storm. Yeah, so I wasn't supposed to tell anybody that Mr. Buddha was running for mayor. Apparently, uh, apparently he was saving that for a big reveal. I don't know. In classic Buddha fashion. Yeah, so uh, if I end up, uh, I don't know. It, it, yeah, anyway. You know what um, I'm going with that. You should text that to me. Was he pissed? Uh, a little bit more so than I expected. Like, I, I didn't think it was a private thing. I was like, whatever. Like, he's talking about it in the middle of the courtroom. I'm not, like, I, I, I'm not, like, his, like, I, I guess I was his lawyer to help him with this expungement thing, but, like, I'm not his lawyer. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really think it was that deal. But apparently he's really pissed that I, I don't know, said something. I, I'm not sure. He's, you know, he's got a major problem. That was the whole issue with like all of this stuff that I was working on. He's got a major problem with like expecting things <coughs> and not communicating his expectations. Sorry, John. Joking. There you go.
Yeah, so you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll uh, confirm this via text as well. I don't know. I, I didn't think it was private, though. Like, we were just standing. James was standing right beside us for crying out loud. Like, I don't know. That way we can come back to these texts if for some reason both of us don't remember. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last time I ended up in the ICU, uh, I, I am aware that they pulled my uh, my phone messages. That was actually a really good idea. Yeah, after I was taken hostage by Mike Block, I learned to get everything like this in writing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I honestly think that anything would happen. I mean, it is surface, and he seemed less happy with normal, so. I mean, did he threaten you in any kind of way, or is he just disappointed, like expressing his disappointment? I'm more expressed disappointment, I'd say. How pissed do you think you would be if I publicly twatted out that he's running for mayor? Me. I don't know. <clears throat> Genie's out of the bottle already, but I don't know. You think maybe you would try and throw me off a building and then that'd be a crime? I have no idea. I don't really want to predict what they're up to. So, you know, honestly, I I didn't think that he had told me too much of a secret, so uh, I didn't think it was that big a deal. So, I mean, if I think that he's that disappointed over that, who knows what he'll do for other things. I honestly <laughs> don't know, Sloan. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, that first meeting I had with him is when he threatened to throw me off a building. Ah, uh, yes. And and it was when I was discussing just public legislation we were working on. 
no reason not to discuss it. Yeah, exactly. Right? Except that it clearly benefited him. All right, chat. Also, I think I'm gonna call it here. Someone was able to be like, "Hey, I'm like, tired. Titus Still recovering from COVID. Running for like, I mean, I mean, guess I am, but like, it's not like I'm running for it. I've told like three people. <laughs> True. And you were for, for all of it. You were one of them. Right. And we told a hey, and then we told fucking Osvaldo. Two, but two of the other mayors, mayoral candidates. I, I suppose. I suppose. I mean, Tim. Tim was present, right? So I'm sure he's hearing it from his internal team. Oh yeah, team. no. He, actually, Tim did go running off afterward, didn't he? He did. Yeah, probably he Tim. He did. Fuck was, you. Pro probably Tim, who called Nancy or something. Anyway, all right, chat. We're gonna call it here. I'm gonna dip off actually here in a second. But appreciate y'all hanging out. Do it again soon.